Hello. <clears throat> well, that didn't come out like I wanted it to. Can I try again? Hello. Yeah, there we go. That's better. As always, the vo voice takes a sec to boot up here. All right. So, um, hi, everyone. I'm uh, kind of sleepy as fuck this morning. That's just a thing that's true. Uh, this is the the end game, though. The final, not the final stream, but the final Rain World campaign. Let me uh, show it to you on the screen. I think that would help. Wait a minute. There it is, Rain World. Oh, Wonder's actually here for once. Two dollars, thank you. The, uh, the Rain World's biggest fan in the Discord server who never watches the Rain World streams. A walking paradox to be sure, but uh cool that you're cool that you're here. Uh yeah, okay, I was gonna show you the cool saint. Look at him. What a funny little green bean. What a licky tonguey blorbo. Um Oh yeah, and the hunter, but don't worry about that. <laughs> don't worry about the hunter. Um, you're kind of sad for it to end. It's only been like 17 streams. That's just how it be. Um, but there, yeah, there is still the hunter after this, if you're already worried about lack of Rain World content. Um, and there's... I did say that I would play JD's mod when he finishes it, so there's it's not quite over after this. How much do I know about Saint? I think I may have been spoiled on some basic points of the saint, not gonna lie, but just that's just through like osmosis and like animatic thumbnails and shit, so it's no big deal. It's the it's about the execution more than anything. I don't know how anything actually plays out in this run. Um so I'm very curious to see how that goes. Where did you get the cover art? Uh oh that was some um, from I should actually link that video in the description. Hang on. Uh that's important. One, because I should credit the thumbnail art, and two, because everyone should go watch that fucking video. It's the best. It's like the single best piece of Rain World fan content. Um, the fuck was it called again? The Meaning of Life? Here it is. I'm just going to slap this in the uh, description real quick. Done. Okay. Um, hey, no Fumar with $2 and two cents. Hunter X Hunter. I agree. Is this what happens in Hunter Hunter? I kept referencing the Chimera Antarctica watching Glitch Tale the other day. Um, that's what happened this Friday, is that we did the, the Glitch Tale watch party in my server. The the whole six hours of Glitch Tale was consumed in one sitting. It was great fun. Uh, and then we have another $2 from Ave Meditarsalia Enthusiast. Hello, Mr. Country Hams. That's a new one, but but thank you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Yeah, let's, let's get into the saint here. Um, let's do it. Frail and armed with a long tongue, the journey will be one of perfect enlightenment, but walking this path requires patience, caution, and a complete attunement with the world. As if that doesn't describe every fucking campaign so far, come on. What did I think about Glitch Tale? I thought it was surprisingly a lot more enjoyable than Underverse. I expected it to be the reverse, but Underverse was just too incomprehensible to consume in that setting. I was just checked out. Glitch Tail was like, oh yeah, they're punching each other. Cool, I get it. The Saint has seen the maximum karma in a dream. I wonder what the Saint's story is. That's what I'm curious about. Because I know you have like, this enlightened slug cat, but also like, how did the cat get enlightenment? What does a cat do to become enlightened? It appears to be fucking cold, by the way. Huh? 
I can't throw the spears. Okay, that's funny. That's the best I can do. I can throw rocks still, though. He's built different. Oh, there's the tongue. While you're attached to something, use up and down to extend or retract. So it's not a grapple worm. It's actually, like, better than a grapple worm, I think. Um... So I have sort of unlimited vertical mobility, it seems like, if I'm not misinterpreting this. Or at least very extensive vertical mobility. Yeah, I can just go up. Wow. Boing. Oh, I can get, I get like a good jump off the end of it too. It's gonna take a bit of getting used to uh, having um, to hold up though. You don't usually have to hold up for many things besides uh, climbing poles. Can I just uh, climb up here? I can. No effect is pretty crazy looking. Oh, there's the pipe. You are cold and hungry, find shelter from the storm or you will pass out. Oh, is that how this works? Is there rain anymore? I don't even know. Okay, I have to open the, uh... Wait, can I open this? I don't have a spear. Oh, wait. It opens somehow. I'm not sure how that exactly works, but I, I did it. You don't need much food as this guy. Very low body mass. Ooh, a pearl. I'm gonna eat that. Oh, I'm turning white. Is that the, um, is that the logic of this? Surely it's not cold in here. This is inside. Oh, grab the lantern? Good idea. Only warm objects rejuvenate your body heat in this extreme cold, but they will not last forever. I didn't expect a, a hypothermia management sim, to be honest. I knew it was uh, snowy, but I thought that that would just be um, an aesthetic element. Oh, there's a temperature meter under your hunger, I see. I didn't notice that. Oh, but I'm only at Karma 2. That's a cool meditating slug cat, by the way. <laughs> That's just how he sleeps. Um, so I have to sleep like a fucking ascetic monk, but I only have Karma 2. He's stuck on the lust layer. I feel kind of ripped off, to be honest. The saint ain't all he cracked up to be, you know? But you can put lanterns in your stomach, but I want to be carrying a pearl the whole time, obviously, in my stomach. <laughs> Saint is certified sexer. My thought exactly. My friend from college confirmed to me that all Buddhists just think about sex during meditation. That's true, the saint is probably meditating on the second carnal urge. And how to uh, transcend it, obviously. There's no funny business. It's strictly a philosophical exercise. If, hypothetically, I was horny right now, this is how I would uh, overcome my uh, base urges. Of course I'm not, because I am the saint. Oh. Slurp. I think the last Rain World I played actually was co-op with a couple people on the Discord server, which was interesting. <laughs> it was very, uh, Rain, Rain World with input lag is an experience. Uh-oh. I don't like that. Um, oh, oh, oh. Okay. 
Okay, uh, wait, I'm just back at the start. That didn't help at all. The tongue is obviously not for sex. You are right. Nothing to do with that. Saint got the long tongue specifically so he could not use it for sex. In fact, he was the only one that he could trust with the long tongue because he knew that he would never use it for anything uh, remotely resembling the second carnal urge. So this was the vulture room. Did I go down? Oh, you have to go down to go up. This is Sky Islands, huh? I just kind of noticed that. How long is that tongue? Can I do i I've seen people do like the fucking... A backflip might work, but no, not quite. Hmm. There's definitely some way of doing this. Um, but maybe not one that doesn't require advanced tech. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. The tongue can grab poles? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that's uh, a game changer. Another fucking karma flower? As if I need it. I'm basically a living karma flower. You could eat me to preserve your karma. Here I come. I've seen people move really fast with this tongue, so I'm obviously not using it to its full potential, but... Um, I'll get used to it. A lot of viewers for this stream. Maybe people just really want to see the, uh, the finale. Fucking useless. I wonder how he eats while dangling from the tongue. That must be challenging. Oh, I'm full already. Damn. Oh, hi. Oh my god. I'm struggling. Hmm. I was trying some maneuvers that I didn't really know how to pull off there. Saint has no gag reflex. Oh fuck. Uh what was that noise? Was that the karma flower? I don't I don't think they usually make that noise. Wait, this is um the echo effect. Did me dying cause an echo to spawn? That's fucking weird. It's gone now. It did last cycle too. Oh, I, some echoes are gated by karma, aren't they? So if I if I go back there. With higher karma, there might be an echo. I think that's how it works. I'm not really sure, though. Which, apparently, the saint doesn't have as high of a karma level as the fucking uh, rivulet. Or the, uh, the other one. The survivor. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I, uh, I pictured that going differently. Yeah, using the tongue on the poles is a bit of a learning curve. Oh, hi there. wonder who that was. Oh, that's who it was. Uh, well, because I'm an enlightened master, I'm not going to throw a rock at you. Yet. Because I don't need to, and it's convenient for me. Yeah, having the tongue is a bit of, um... Oh my god. I don't really know how to use the tongue yet. I'll be the first to admit. I 
Come on. Okay. Back on track here. Have a quick snack. Yeah, it's it's a it's a great area. The the, the blue fruit are or bug pupa. They're not really vegan, but the snake, um, the saint seems fine with eating them regardless, so. Whatever. It's, uh. There's, I'm assuming that he studied the theological texts and I haven't, so I'm not gonna challenge him on this. Is this the whole room? Like, is there anything above this? I thought it was coming up here for a reason. I get a really big jump off of that. Huh, there's nothing. Ow. There's f food, yeah. Well, uh, I'm not sure what other path there was to take, actually. Oh, I really thought I could grab that pole. It did look like I could have grabbed that, didn't it? Like, not gonna lie. <laughs> I bet he has some, some comics about learning what the blue fruit is. It's vegan as long as you don't know it's not vegan. That's the, that's the rule. That's how it works. Um... Okay, so what other path was there to take then? I could have gone backward. I probably want to get that fruit then come back because I'm going to need the food for something. That's not the way. Take a second look at the pearl. Um, it is that a white one? It looks pretty much like a white one, but I'm assuming if it was the first thing I encountered, then it might be important somehow. Why doesn't it catch the pole on the way up? That's spooky. Chat says, religions sometimes have exemptions for forbidden foods if the person doesn't know what they're eating. That's, um, reasonable, I guess. Nice of them to think ahead like that. Fuck. It, the tongue seems to go more upward than a grapple worm would. I'm not sure if it's the same or not. Okay, we're not losing our second level of carnal urge, though. You worked hard for that one karma above the absolute lowest level, and we're going to keep it. Come on. A new strat is just to leave the lantern down here to eat the fruit faster. Oh, don't eat the bat fly. Put it down. Does Saint not kill bat flies? Usually when you grab a bat fly, it just dies instantly in your big meaty uh, hand. You crush its life out. All right, great success. Don't need that. I'll take the uh, self-defense pebble though. Make sure to pounce across the gap this time. You can eat one and see what Saint does. I'm kind of curious, actually. What would he do? Oh, never mind. I'm not that curious. I've stopped being curious.
I'm curious again. Oh, I'm full anyway. Ah, oh, never mind. <clears throat> um, my cold level's fine. There doesn't seem to be rain anymore. Fucking fake game. It's not even rain world. It's very spooky that the tongue doesn't grab the poles on the way up. I guess that's to like deprioritize them. If there's a solid surface, it'll grab that first. Oh, this is the same room. Why is the layout here so fucked? Or did I just take the wrong exit? I thought going... Wait, no, this takes you to this room, and going to the left takes you back to that other room. Wait, the pit isn't a death pit? Down there? Oh. Oh, I never would have guessed, huh. Classic rain world moment. The one time you, you call something as a death pit and don't fall for the trap, it's not a death pit, and you fall in for the trap. Come on. There we go. Oh, time is dilating. I think there's an echo nearby. Maybe it's to the other side. I think this guy basically uses survivor movement. It feels the same anyway. It's playing, um, I don't know, some song that would be called Else with a Roman numeral under it in the soundtrack. The game's doing the thing where I can't see the visual information anymore. Is there a pipe? This is where the echo would be if I had like higher karma or something? Or is it just like higher up? I don't see any way to get higher up. There's a pipe? Oh, fuck, that's hard to see. I just noticed that. I was looking around for a pipe, but I couldn't find that. There you are. Another presence attempts to communicate with mine. Have I perceived your voice before? I have existed long enough to overhear them all. Those who have been and those who have yet to be. Each serving as a wave propagating through the annals of history. Listened as I have for many eons, tis true some of those swells cannot help but mirror back. I think it's saying that it's met me before in a different cycle or a different life. It recognizes me. Is the saint like the reincarnation of the of the survivor? This is my new headcanon. Survivor returned. Reached enlightenment, but returned as a bodhisattva to guide others to enlightenment. It makes sense. I think that's what, what the term is. It's like a, a, a spiritual being who has reached enlightenment, but remains on the carnal plane to help others reach enlightenment instead of transcending. That's a, a, a bodhisattva. Okay, well, I'm back here. Um, kind of at square one again to an extent. Survivor after continuing to surviving. Sacks. Sacks. Not sands. Oh, now I can try eating a bat fly.
Uh, oh, I don't want those guys here. Oh, I see how you move so fast with the tongue. It's because you can immediately just double jump. You don't even ha you don't even have to swing from it. I think I jump higher off of the tongue than I do from the ground. The only strong muscle in the saint's whole body is the tongue. I've seen some tech where it's like you do this. It's uh, then you can roll out of a backflip or something. And then you can do a bigger jump. I want to see if I can do it arbitrarily right now. There it is. That's like an alternative to crouch pouncing or something. Um, it seems I have to go above, but I can't reach up there from here. Oh. Problem solved. Okay, I can go over that guy if he stops derping for a sec. Uh, this was to the Echo, wasn't it? Yeah, you can motor with this lad. Okay. Talking constantly to work out the time, <laughs> yes. As we've discussed, it's never for anything lewd. Saint would never. Uh, what is that thing? Oh, it's a flying centipede. Lovely. I love that for me. Um, I guess I'll just keep proceeding through the Skylands. See what happens. I gotta get to that side. Uh, like this. I'd better like the flying centipedes. I have to do no such thing. Well, actually, the flying centipedes aren't as bad as the normal ones. They don't really seem to attack you most of the time. It's just sometimes they get the violence in them. Uh, what is this funny room for? It's got a unique soundtrack. That could just be random, but... Got a flashbang that never seems to do anything, but I'll get one. Another fucking pearl, eh? Is this a special one or another fucking... It also looks like a white pearl. This room was for a pearl or arena unlock. I don't think there's a fancy pearl here. Maybe on a different campaign it's a pearl? I don't actually know. Huh. Well, that was neat. It's the evolution of Gaster Box. Someone made a really cryptic comment about the Gaster Box being important on the Saint playthrough, and I have no idea what they meant by that. I almost forgot about the Gaster Box. It's been so long. quite lost to begin with. Usually it starts you in an area that I'm somewhat familiar with, but I really have no idea how to navigate the Sky Islands. Oh, okay. That was, that was kind of clutch. Easily could have gone badly there. Um, I don't even, I've never seen this area before. Can I go to the right? Nope. Can I go below? It doesn't look like it. It looks that looks like a death pit to me. Is that the monkey in the thumbnail? That's the saint. <laughs> that's that's their canon appearance, trust me. The uh the source of the artist Oh, it's I can't go anywhere. What the fuck is this place? 
It just contains a, a popcorn bush, it looks like. Saint is not Monk. Well, Monk doesn't look like that, I don't think, either. Uh-oh. That's, that's bad. The centipede finally chose violence. Well, that's all right. I think I know the route a little bit better. Um, case in point, I can reach the same room just by going through here. Oh, the echo ambiance is gone now, so that must have been all coming from that same echo. They're on a timer, yeah, which is weird, but okay. Oh, well, this isn't so good. Luckily, you can just sort of do that. Wee. Nom nom nom. Going up and right will get you to chimney. Mm, well, the I tried going on the right path, and it seemed to be kind of blocked. Maybe there was another path up here, though? Or no, there was a couple pipes that I didn't try going in. Over here. Like this one? And that's where I came from. Uh, okay, what about this one, though? Are those active unlocks? I learned that I could scale vertical walls pretty much if I wanted to. Uh, oops. It's a bit tricky to know where the tongue is going to land, though. Nice. Oh. Okay, I don't really want to be here. Never mind, I don't want to be here either. This is a dead end. How well do you know Rain World's map? I mean, not the most well, but like Sky Islands. I've never been in this part of Sky Islands. You don't really have to explore most of it. Unless you're, there's like five pearls up here, right? I, I never hunted down all the pearls. Oh shit. Okay, luckily these guys aren't very uh, good at actually eating you. I just go straight up. I want the fruit. Nom. Fucking Bugs Bunny comedy routine. I'm just trying to eat an apple while the lizard is eating me. This is fine. Uh. Um, so can I somehow get the fuck up there? Is that real? Maybe I can. Holy shit. Hang on. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean now. I actually... My vertical mobility is greater than I ever thought possible. You really can just cheese the whole game with the tongue if you want, which I think... Not even if I want, I think that's literally just what you do in this campaign. Uh, oh. I don't like that. Okay, where's the pipe? Where do I go? I don't see the, uh... Okay, centipede is tanking for me, that's nice. Dude, the centipede just fucking soloed that vulture, what? If vultures didn't have 4 million HP, I swear they'd be useless. That was the shortest pipe ever, holy shit. Uh, okay, this is scary terrain here. Cool music, though. I haven't heard a lot of this music. Or I probably have, because I've listened to the whole soundtrack in, like, a, on YouTube, but... I don't remember this specific track ever playing. Oh, I'm just back here again. Shit. Uh, hmm. So do I proceed right from that room that was the dead end? Maybe I can go, uh, right somehow. Ooh. 
Oops. Okay, the centipede's maybe not going to let me though. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, that works. <laughs> Holy shit. White lizard. No, 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 no. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. There was a scorpion on the frog scenario. If you sting me, we will both drown. Lol, said the scorpion. Lamau. <laughs>
holding it down just confuses you. Wait, why am I trying to eat the uh, the lantern? You don't you don't eat that. Somehow I have to get up here like this. It's working. It's working. Yeah. Fuck off, centipede. Okay, now what? Through here? Get a new lantern soon. They're important. Right, it said they run out. I'm not sure uh, how fast though, or when I can get a new one. Bowls. Ooh, it kinda, eh. Can I lick it? Does it, oh fuck, well never mind. I got one to open before somehow, but I don't know how I did it. Oh fuck. That was a bad spot for a vulture to appear. The route is very short if you know where to go. Oh, it only pops during storms? That's fucked up. I guess that's... We finally know their uh, intended ecological niche. So they, they hibernate until the world's climate literally changes to a different climate and has snowstorms. And then they open up. It's every 200,000 years. They reproduce. What? You can do this. This is fucked. Are you gonna eat that? Why am I so confused about this? Just eat the fruit. Lizard is coming. Shit. I am the beast that feeds off the popcorn. That seems like a pretty fast way to get down, to be honest. Watching the Saint speedrun must be very entertaining, though. Anytime you're not tonguing, you're losing time. You asked earlier, but what am I planning to play after I'm done with the Rain World campaigns? I have not really thought about it. As I, I seldom do. <laughs> Could be anything, really. If you're not tonguing, you're losing time. Sometimes true in a, a band context, a wind band. Um, it's important to tongue your notes, otherwise it'll sound uh, slurred and you could easily... Uh... There's a rhythmic component, you could follow it. Oh my god. <laughs> Coffin. I don't really want to play Slay the Princess. Um, if I'm gonna play, if I have to play some game that Mel likes, it'll it would be the fucking uh, Goody Two Shoes, <laughs> whatever that one's called, because that one actually looked interesting to me. I'm a bit curious what that one's like. Um. I've already beat Inscription. I've already beat Subnautica. Yes, I've played Tunic. <laughs> I play all the good games when they come out. There's none left to play on stream. I only play shitty games on stream. Should play Vampire Survivors. It seems you can't eat while swinging too much? Is that the logic? I don't fucking know. Pathologic 2. 
I'm not too sure about that. Okay, that went well. I'd say that went very well. That's not where I wanted to go. This time, I'm not going to get tricked and fuck around with the popcorn bush. I'm just going to go... Have I heard of an indie game called Undertale? Is it like Deltarune? Oh, he went away. <clears throat> it's fucking indigo prophecy. I've played Dredge. I don't really play that many games, so it's surprising that chat is suggesting so many that I've actually played. <laughs> Missed? I've played Abduction. I never actually beat it. I got stuck. That's basically the same game as Missed. Oh, I'm really struggling here. Play Homestuck. <laughs> A Hive Swap Chapter 2 Let's Play would be uh, interesting. I did play Hive Swap Chapter 1. That was how I got myself to read Homestuck, was I, I wanted to read Homestuck already. But I knew that I'd need, um, like a gateway drug, and so I played Hive Swap. Uh, I guess this works. That's progress. Play Nancy Drew. In all seriousness, I would consider playing that, uh, Goody Two Shoes game, because it just looks weird and, uh, kind of interesting. And the art is very nice. Signalis 2. We're back to the uh, the outs and suggestions. I might play Signalis one day. Phoenix Wright? I've played the, uh, the original Phoenix Wright game. I'm not really sure about doing that on stream. It's like... I guess... A visual novel isn't that different from something like uh, a dialogue-heavy RPG like Night in the Woods, but that, that's not even an RPG. Cooking stream. Yes, I've beaten Outer Wilds. <laughs> not playing Danganronpa. Spore. I, I played Spore when I was like a, a small child. I'm meeting up here, you can't get me. <laughs> this is the strat, I guess. You just have, like, lizard immunity. Fucking Kingdom Hearts, Jesus. Actually, if I played Kingdom Hearts, that one person... I assume, I think it's... I headcanon that it's one person. I feel like I get a comment on like every video that's just specifically disappointed that I, I've like made a joke about Kingdom Hearts without knowing they like they flag me as a uh, a fake fan like I haven't actually played the games but I'm, I'm dunking on them anyway that one person would stop being uh, disappointed in me because I could I would have played the games myself and I would be qualified to dunk on them recreationally Wonder, Wonder Song. Are you the same person who suggested that last stream? Because I remembered someone suggesting that, and I looked at it, and it looked interesting. I just wonder if, there, if there's been two independent suggestions, or if they're both actually the same person. <laughs> this is sketchy, but it worked. Any games you want to play before the end of the year? I didn't really have any in mind, uh, Pickles. I didn't really. I've played Baba Is You. 
Exactly. Dunking on the series is how you show appreciation, but apparently you have to do stuff like actually play the games before you're allowed to do that, or people get angry at you. I don't know. Seems pretty unreasonable to me. I've watched, like, dozens of hours of, of lore explainers about that game. I think I'm qualified, okay? I did the research. Even if it's not primary sourced. Uh, hello there. Would it be immoral, like from a from a karmic standpoint, to knock that lizard to its death with a rock? Oops, that wasn't the rock. That was my lantern and life source. Well, I guess that's karma. <laughs> uh, they're multiplying. Surely one will fall off. Okay, wouldn't it be a thug-ass, gangster-ass move to go, like, underneath them? Never mind. Okay, actually, I don't want to go this way. I changed my mind. Um, yeah. Come on. I think this is progress. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, ooh. Can I make that? Oh! Yes! <laughs> I'm amazed that I caught that. Holy shit. That should not have worked. Well, I know the, the strat to get past impassable gaps now, though, is that you just fall to your death and then grapple. I've now become the brick man. Oh shit, my uh... My cold meter is ticking up because I don't have a lantern now, that's really bad. I wonder when I can get another one. Come on. Why is this the impossible jump? There we go. That seemed like a total fluke, but I'll take it. I made it though, I'm good. As long as the, f the sauna surely heats me up, right? I don't have enough karma? Bruh, oh I forgot about that mechanic. Uh-oh. That's no good. I'm going to die. Sky Islands, it just kind of be like that. Uh, I don't think there's any coming back from this one. I've become a popsicle. What is the logic of the snow? Does it get heavier as the cycle progresses, or does it just get heavier to show that I'm getting cold? It's like mood snow. Fuck. I didn't die. Let's see what's over here, I guess. We got Love the Arps playing, though. That makes it a bit better. It's almost a, a classical way of naming the song, you know, just Love the Arps, Arpeggio Etude. I can picture it as like a Chopin piece. Why does it... what's the point of that? Just chilling with the centipede. That was inevitable. Okay, so I gotta farm some karma, which I think shouldn't be too hard if I make that my actual goal. The food is available, I just wasn't thinking about preserving karma until now. Oh, okay, never mind. I swear he just teleported out. Like landmarks? I think that's the one that I used in uh, the last devlog I did. 
it's just like a a straight industrial beat, right? There's no melody. Is that the one? Look at these dudes. Laughing, joking, numb nuts. I need one more fruit, and then I can uh, sleep. Maybe there's fruit in here. Not immediately. Oh my god. Uh, I'm not getting a fruity vibe from this area. This is just the other side of that bridge I thought I couldn't cross. I probably can though. Yep, if you just believe anything is possible. Okay, this is sort of new. I can't access that popcorn. I don't even know if I can get back. It's all gone a bit wonky. And that's a death pit with a pole? You can slide down the pole into a death pit. Very cool. Vibes not fruity enough. Use more tongue. Very true, Pidge. Saint has the power of God and anime on their side, but mostly God. Eh. This fucking dude, every time. The ambush predator, the white lizard, white lizards wish they were. Um, come on. Oh fuck, why did I fall off? Jesus, okay. Try that again. Anime is more powerful than color. Uh, from a sociological standpoint, well, still probably not, but we'll get there one day. Ooh, that was some smooth movement for a second. Very cool. Cool of me. Uh, hi. Okay. I can recreate the, um, the second Spearmaster Sisyphus climb. What an experience that was. I swear those little knobs of, of land weren't there before, though. Like those that have provided shelter from the white lizard camping me. Maybe there's fruit up in the Spearmaster zone? Yoink. The subregion name changes? I missed it, because my mic, as always, is in the way. If there's actually nothing up here, to, like, at least replace the comms array with, like, a piece of fruit or something. It was the frozen mast. Kind of neat. A little bit cool. There's no fucking fruit up here, is there? At least there might be a colored lore pearl. Uh, nope. There's jack shit. Oh well. All the pearls are white. And the sky is gray. <clears throat> Okay, well that was an inordinate waste of time. All I have to do is find like a single piece of fruit before the cycle ends, and I'm fine, but even that seeming like a bit of a stretch at this point. I think it was down here? Apparently so.
I've taken the psychotic route. How do I, uh, mm. There we go. Don't usually have to come back this way, do you? Have you played Spiritfarer or Gris? Gris. Um, I know what Spiritfarer is actually, and I have considered playing it to be honest. Um, I'm not sure if that would be a good stream game, but like, I don't know. If someone who's played it thinks it would be a good stream game, I would consider that actually, because uh, that's something I already kind of wanted to play. Now it's starting to snow. Uh, and Gris, yeah, that, that one is, um, the one that kept getting advertised at, a uh, GDQ. <laughs> so I've heard of that one. I don't really know anything about it, though. This just leads to the Karma Gate, right? There's no actual food over here. Um, and I have not played Ghost Trick, no. It has a body-swapping mechanic, though, I've heard. Very kind of ra- uh... Oh, well. Okay, well that- we know that that route is a complete waste of time. Just don't go that direction. You can- this tongue has like a very high level of musculature, look at that move. Holy shit. Ghost trick would be good, says chat. Hmm. Yeah, every muscle in the saint's body that was just like sucked into the tongue as part of its evolutionary process. All the protein fibers are just rerouted. Get down, please. Sentimentality and reflection is ruined by the nature of being social, and streaming is social. I know exactly what you mean, Pidge, actually. Um, but that's not something you can always really avoid. That's the reason I would never play um, a first playthrough of like Deltarune future chapters on stream. It's because it does to an extent uh, completely change the experience to do something in a social setting like this. Um, but for most other games, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be that fussy about it. Like, I played Night in the Woods on stream. That's a pretty, you know, make you sad kind of game. Rain World, believe it or not, is often a, a somewhat make you sad kind of game. Where the fuck is the fruit? I've reached the area that actually contains the Karma Gate, and now it's just like, story, fruit machine broke. I played Mother 3 on stream, yeah, exactly. Um, so if you're trying to optimize for just making yourself sad, I guess, playing something on stream is not generally a good idea, but... Okay, ay ay ay. So that's not the route either. You know what? I'm just gonna skip taking the fruit at the start and and just find fruit elsewhere because the fruit at the start doesn't do me any good until I get more of it, and I can't come back to the sh I need to come back to the shelter anyway to uh, actually rest. And the fruit is right here, so let's just do that. Let go, please. CGP Grey Grind set? Optimize making yourself sad? Is, is that what the channel CGP Grey is? I've heard of that channel, but I've never watched it. Oh, that it, it is... So a particular CGP Grey video is about optimizing sad. 
I'm curious what that means in context. Can someone summarize what the philosophical principle behind it was? I'm assuming that's sort of the clickbait thumbnail title. It's a video called How to Make Yourself Miserable. Cool. Um, will this take more streams? Oh yeah, this play this campaign's gonna take like probably three at least, was the uh, the estimates I saw. This leads to fucking pipe yard, doesn't it? I remember this screen. One of these was a pole mimic, I think. That middle one's a mimic. Uh, no, no, it's not apparently. Was this not- did this like grow into a real pole? Did it freeze? Like what the fuck happened? It was a video calling out everything that applies to me and saying it makes you sad. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, that's fairly simple then. It's just like a... It's a reverse self-help video. It's the uh, terrible writing advice equivalent of how to, how to not be sad. Well, I kind of wish I'd found that fruit now because there's another shelter. And I would have had enough to rest if I'd grabbed the, the start fruit. Oh well. Well, nothing to do but press blindly onward in hopes of even more fruit. Sunk cost falaki. Or I could go back? Nah. Is a vulture? Yeah. I'm going to go back now. It is very silent. It's quiet. I assume the snow muffles the sound. Is that a real thing that happens? It's, it seems like that should be a thing that happens in, in real life. Uh, yeah, this is a... F Fucking jump, isn't it? I get a bit more security with the tongue, but even then, I don't like it. I didn't know that cold air made sound go further. It would make it more dense, I guess, which would make the speed of sound faster, maybe, which would... No, the speed of sound's faster in warm air, so I don't know how that works. Let's join the lizard party, I guess. This is the way back, I think. Oh, hi. Hello there. They neutralized each other. And for the record, that's uh, that CTP Grey video is how to make yourself miserable, not sad. Those are different things. You can be recreationally sad. I, I don't think anyone likes being recreationally miserable. <laughs> um. Boing. Oh, I didn't even have to try. <laughs> Lizard was too stupid. Okay, now I just have to not die on the easy part. This is the easy part! For some reason in my playthrough, I gathered all the colored pearls I knew of. Well, I did basically the same thing on the Survivor playthrough. And also even on the Artificer playthrough, I went, I did an extra stream just to get pearls. All right, one karma. I need to find, I think, what, two more fruit before I can actually make it through that gate without dying, so that's kind of, hmm, 
sketchy. Isn't watching shows that make you sad recreational misery? No, I'm saying, like, but to me it's like, misery is such a strong term that, like, it can't be recreational. Like, making yourself sad recreationally is different than being miserable. That's, like, a very holistic term. Okay, the fucking lizards are gate camping here. I said gate camping. Can you tell I just watched the Fred Nidson uh, EVE Online video finally? It was quite good. Uh, EVE Online is something that I've been like passively aware of for years. I saw some other retrospective on it way back about the Fountain War, back when that was like relatively recent, I think. Um, but I hadn't really heard about it since then. So Fred suddenly appearing with his five-hour documentary was pretty cool. I am missing Sky Island Pearls. Uh, I found a few of them, but there's like a lot, right? There's, there's many of them as far as I know, but I don't know where they all are. EVE Online is so cool, I wish wars were real. <laughs> There was a comment on that video about, um, it was some, some bigwig from one of the factions in the documentary, like a fleet commander or something. And he says, like, I am a, a U.S. combat veteran, like an army combat veteran, uh, and I can say that EVE Online is the closest thing you can get to experiencing preparing for an actual armed conflict <laughs> without being in the military. It's, it's that level of uh, organization and preparation, <laughs> which is uh, horrifying, but also very funny. Where has this taken me? What fresh hell is this? I don't even think I can make that jump safely. This seems like a terrible idea. The goal here is to not die and find food. So if I die while finding food, it's all for nothing. What is EVE Online? It is a an old MMO about flying spaceships around in a uh, a purely like anarcho-capitalist sandbox. Basically, there's the whole economy is player-driven. Players form into extensively organized uh, corporations and alliances of corporations. They uh, exploit the labor of the new players who have to mine asteroids and make vast trade networks and casinos to make trillions of in-game currency and have a uh, war with each other which involves thousands of real human users all coordinating across the globe it's it's like a future end cap sandbox Okay, I think I went this way last time. I don't want to go back there. I kind of forget how to go back to the original area I was in at this point. Cool, cool, depressing, cool. Oh, it's not that depressing. It's all in good fun. The thing is with EVE Online, it's voluntary. You have to sign up to be uh, the bottom rung on the, um, the the social ladder and get exploited by corporations. So people do that for fun. They pay $15 a month for that experience. But the cool part about EVE Online is that if you make enough in-game money, you can use it to buy subscriptions from other players who bought it with real money. So you can play for free. <laughs> But because of that, that makes a very easy conversion from in-game currency to fiat currency, so it's a hobby of, uh, I've, the fuck, this is the same place. Various journalists love to report on the, um, estimated US dollar cost of, um, various battles in their space wars because you can assign the ships, like, real money, monetary value, usually in, like, the thousands of dollars for some cases.
children yearn for the Corpo and Cap Space Hell. They really do. They're playing, if if not that, they're playing Rust these days. Which is just post-apocalyptic and Cap Hell. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. I'm so lost. I have no idea how to get back. You tried rest but didn't get into it? I don't think you're supposed to get into rest. It just... it's bad. Uh... Huh. This is a bit sketchy. No problem, though. Easy. I've been this way before and I don't remember it resulting in anything good. Dude, I could camp and wait for the fucking popcorn. That sounds like a really dumb idea, but maybe I should try it. I might actually try it. Because I don't know where the fuck else any root is. It was all in that, like, earlier area. You want to play Eve based on that description? It's still kind of a one-of-a-kind thing. Um, it's pretty neat. I'm not sure what its current landscape is like exactly. Keep heading left, find another shelter where food has respawned. Not a bad idea. Blizzard is camping me. I'm gonna have to do violence to you. Is that a bug snacks reference? What the fuck? That phrase just stuck in my subconscious, I guess. Please climb. The, the permanent tongue slash grapple worm can fuck up wall jumps. That is a, a hazard, I've noticed. Oh, we're back to the start, but with higher karma. Great success! Have I played Magic Circle? I have... I think I watched a playthrough of that way back. Um, I thought that you did... Oh, I don't have any fucking food still. Okay, maybe I do camp for the popcorn now, because I know where it is. Um, yeah, did I talk about it in the mid Undertale good? I, I used the sort of the visuals of the Magic Circle, and I think I heard about the concept of the Magic Circle because of that game, but I don't recall ever, like, seeing the ending of it. It's weird. I have a vague memory of it, but I don't really remember. Like, I don't even remember who I watched play it. This is bad. We got some wind effects, I think. Everyone's favorite mechanic. Green World didn't have, uh, they had a checklist of like annoying mechanics they hadn't implemented yet. Um, one of them was ice physics, one was wind physics, so they, they made a campaign with both ice and wind. Although I haven't seen any ice physics yet, I have to say. I'm not sure that's gonna be a thing. Okay, that's an assurance. I think I'm going to survive the winter. I think I can do it. If I can make this fucking jump, I can survive. There it is. That's the fruit. Nom nom nom. Eat faster, saint. Come on. Get back with the fruit. No, I dropped it. No, I didn't drop it. Oh, why did I fall off that one? The fruit gets like stuck on the pipe entrances. It's weird. Centipede, I swear to God. Wait, it's in the shelter though. How do I... 
What do I do about that? Bruh. I guess just get blasted and sleep with the centipede. Oh, if I can fall asleep before it kills me, I win. That's the time dilation. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, it's in a bit of a tough spot here. Fucking spring trapped. Ouch. That's how real sleep paralysis demons work. You just have to fall asleep before they get you. Help me. The bite of 87,000. Okay, max karma with the insurance. I just have to get up before the fucking centipede wakes up. Uh, wait, where's my lantern? The centipede might kind of cock block me from getting my lantern back. Oh, no, I got it. Okay, goodbye. And another karma flower for double insurance. Cool. Um, I don't really need the karma flower, actually. I got back through a different path, I can't help but notice. Unless I didn't and I forgot. This, um... Doing the sketchy platforming along here isn't my favorite idea when I have to not die, but... It might be sort of the only way. I guess there's no point having the flower with me though, right? Because I already have the shield and it's not going to... If I die, it's not going to stay with me anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that. Wait, rock. You don't know much about Rain World? Well, it's a good thing you joined on the last campaign in the game. <laughs> Most of the game is just this, and there's no lore, but... And when there's lore, there's lore, you know? It really hits. I'm an enlightened, green, furry, slug cat. Named Blorbus Joe. There's a color pearl down where? What do you mean down there? That's a death pit. The lore in this one is insane. Are you just trolling me or like what? Oh no, you're talking about the campaign, not the pearl. Is there really a pearl? There's no pearl, okay. Are there no pearls at all in the saint? I'm kind of getting that impression. Here we go. Back on track. Please, Saint, come on. Um, I do not have enough food to rest at another shelter, which is a bit worrying, but maybe if I get past the gate, it'll- Oh my god. Okay, that's fucking bad. Yep. You can usually just sort of Mario bounce over the, uh, the lizard's heads with your tongue powers. That's nice. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh! I'm fine. Oh, there's more fruit here. Dude. That's so clutch. Um... So here's the moral dilemma. Do I take the fruit and rest and not have enough uh, food to assure that I can go through the shelter? I think the answer is yes, because I'm scared. Oh, fuck. Just uh, remember to pick that up before you go to sleep. Uh, where, what are they doing? This is madness. Here we go. Saint tastes like key lime pie. Yummy. 
Pearls get more white over time. If a lot of time passes, a color pearl can't remain functional. Is that lore or is that like a mechanic that I have to actually deal with? Like if I'm on a timer and if I, if I wait too long, then the lore is going to be deleted. Also, that's a very shitty storage device. It's just lore, okay. We're talking about like thousands of years, not uh, 30 minutes. It punishes monk players, but I know that monk doesn't get colored pearls, but also there's campaigns after monk chronologically that do have colored pearls. Or maybe just the rivulet is after the monk, actually. I didn't really go for many colored pearls as the rivulet, so I don't know if they exist. Um, the lizard brigade is fast on my ass. It's an old punishment that no longer applies. Yeah, the monk is a kind of a prank of a character, right? It's the easy mode, but it's barely easier. Some, it's actually weaker than the survivor in some ways. Um, do I want to do that? Do I need to do that? Yes, okay. Um, and you don't get any lore. They get you from the lore if you play the easy mode. <laughs> like it's a fucking NES game. There is a good explanation for why pearls are broken in Monk, but not Rivulet. I, I hope that you'll never explain that. You'll just say there's a good explanation <laughs> and then refuse to elaborate like rules card. Okay, a bit sketch. I can, no, I dropped the lantern down the pit. Oh, fuck me. Well, I gotta, gotta go fast. No hesitation. Don't need that. Fucking scavenger merchant? Wait, maybe he'll send me a, sell me a lantern if I can get a pearl. Hang on. You want this flower literally outside your house? Lamau, what an idiot. Uh, I wanted the lantern though, not the spears. I can't use those. I guess he wasn't holding a lantern, so it's kind of my fault, but... Whatever, gotta go. Why did I come down here? This place sucks. I guess it had fruit. This place has tons of fruit. Please, please just eat the lantern. You've thrown it away twice. Okay, finally eat the lantern. If there's no lore pearls, I might as well. I'm still gonna be holding a pearl the whole time though. I wanna get some white pearl dialogue finally. The first human in history to get organic white pearl dialogue from an iterator. Uh, you, there's a pole there, dude. How would you possibly know there was a pole there? That's so scary. That's the jump I made last time by literally just falling off and then accidentally catching myself. Oh yeah. This was a weirdly hard jump, right? You have to do that jank. Alright, made it. F for the third green slug pup sibling of Monk and Survivor that never appears again. Maybe that Saint. Maybe Saint just went into the cryogenic freeze chamber and uh, arose again as the third Survivor sibling of the Golden Lineage. We finally get the chimney, hooray! The other area that's gonna fucking gate my ass for an hour. Chimney sucks. Oh shit. I sense an echo. I'm right next to the wall. Uh, I missed the region name. Will I see it again if I, uh, wake up? Yeah, I could go to Pebbles, you're right. 
I probably should. There's no reason not to. That noise, I think, was uh, an echo being activated. I think it's e echoes have some weird logic where, like, you have to rest at a shelter in their area and then they activate and also you need a certain amount of karma and it of course explains none of this to you uh, or in fact even what a, an, an echo is solitary towers i saw at that time uh this doesn't look good the the echo effect isn't really making the visibility any better here. Hang on. You can just do that. Easy mode. I can hear the music. I've made a habit of um I have an espresso maker and it resonates at a certain frequency when it's on and uh I, I tend to, whenever it comes on making its buzzing sound, this specific track, else one, gets in my head, then I hum along with it. It's just part of the morning routine. You sing the holy music of the ancients along with your coffee maker. Uh, oh, there was a hole there. You do the same thing with your microwave? <laughs> yeah. This is else one actually. The the ancients all have different ones, but this is the same one that plays in the uh, the, the the deep dark depths, whatever the fuck that area is called. solid ground there. Is there a pipe, maybe? I'm gonna walk up to the uh, the Echo holding two half bricks, like a street hooligan. North Football Club. Where is the pipe? How do you get up there? Oh, that's a pole. You can't see shit. From my perch, I have overlooked this land for an eternity. Watched as this vast expanse was blanketed into an endless tundra. We remain trapped in place, and yet can never stop moving. Funneled endlessly into an unknown future. To what destination do these memories reach? I am the meta purpose, says the meaning of life video by Bobo. I have unlocked the carnal urge of gluttony. Yeah, unique echo dialogue finally, by the way. All the echo dialogue is the same across the campaigns until now, I think. Uh, we're talking about a microwave purpose organism? <laughs> you would just like feed it the food then it would regurgitate it hot? The ancients would do that shit. They were weird. They were fucked up. Okay, I gotta do this shit again. I don't know where the edge is. Oh. Oh wait, there was the uh, the convenience pole down here. Yeah, the echoes are they alive? They're kind of not. They're they're like they're literally ghosts. They're just like the remnants of someone who tried to ascend but had too much um too much of them carnal urges left over, so the void couldn't even delete them. my understanding, I watched a bit of that, um, I jumped the gun a little bit. I watched a bit of that Affairs of Passing Gods video, which is like a summary, a voice acted summary of Rain World's lore. I stopped before the Saint lore, of course, because it was sort of arranged chronologically and I figured it was safe, so 
There were no spoilers in it, but it clarified a few things from pearls that I had missed. You are displeased? Well, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to watch the whole fucking lore video before I finish the game. But, um, it was interesting. It was some context, because I haven't found every single pearl, obviously. About, like, um, the void fluid was essentially discovered as an alternative to the normal method of ascension, I think. Uh, five pebbles is up. To the right, oh, okay. Like, they had a, an older way to ascend, but then they discovered the void and it was like a shortcut? I don't know how much of this is cut and dry and how much is interpretation on the on the behalf of the person who made that video, but like, uh... Yeah, it's like, going into the void was more of a gamble, because like, if you... It would probably delete you, even if you had the carnal urges left, but if you had too much uh, hubris and uh, ego, then it, it would fail, and you would be left as an echo, which is interesting. Oh! Fuck me. You can get away with a lot as the saint. Yeah, Void Fluid, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, Void Fluid is the Buddhist equivalent of donating to the church to go to heaven faster. <laughs> Literally, too, because apparently there's there was lore about, um, originally the Void Fluid was like a, a, an expensive thing. Like, you had to be rich to afford, uh, to afford uh, a Void Fluid bath and ascend the cycle. Which actually does go some way to explaining how they have, like, the fucking capitalist ads, uh, capitalist ass Pepsi ads in their cyber Buddhist ascetic societies because they abandoned the asceticism because they found a shortcut. Can I go up here? Wait, did I miss something? I missed something. What did I miss? Oh. Oh, this is where it's supposed to lead to pebbles. I, I just assumed that I was I was lost, and this was some other part that I, I didn't know where I was going. Um, if this was supposed to go to pebbles, then that's a bit of an issue, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Well, time to go back down. Chat was straight up lying to me. They were baiting me into that. But jokes on them. I don't trust my sense of direction enough to be surprised when uh, when I don't end up where I think I'm going. How the fuck did I get my tongue up there? Time to take the long way around. Do I have food? I do somehow, okay. That's good, if I can only make it to the bottom of the chimney canopy without dying. This is a safe transition, I think. Yes. Yeah, this is, I think, safe. Oh! Oh my god! How did I not die? But also, how did I fall off in the first place? Wait, what? Wait, where was I? Dude, that, that was fucking trippy. I don't... I thought that I was like something else on the screen? I don't even know how I died. I was, I was looking at something that I thought was me, and then I just died. I don't know what happened. Or did I freeze to death? I froze! Oh, that's what happened. Okay, I was like, I thought I tripped out. Uh, also, 10 bucks from Ave Meditarsalia Enthusiast. Thank you. Um, that, that's a hefty dono. Thank you very much. Category 5 streamer moment. Pretty much, yeah. That would be me playing the game solo too, though. Um, I'm pretty used to just wandering around areas in these games and wa popping out somewhere that I didn't expect to be and going, oh well, I guess it's not here. I haven't been drinking tea this whole time. I gotta pour some of that.
Okay, we have tea. I, I am dead. Was that a strawberry lizard? Is that a real thing? You turn brown like a banana when you're dying. I didn't know that. It's very cool. I was too focused on the platforming to really look at my uh, visual appearance. Strawberry lizards are winter adapted. Well, good for them. Saint is a banana? A game theory. Matt Pat busting out some obscure lore about how bananas are actually herbs for half an hour before bringing up the saint at the end of the video for one minute. Related tangents. Did you know that bananas are actually herbs? Does anyone know that MatPat sold game theory? Uh, in what capacity, like the the intellectual property, the brand, the name, as he just outsourced it to scriptwriters like uh, the ABGN? Although MatPat, I'm sure, already had scriptwriters for years. How do I get those? Actually, I, I know. Like this, obviously. Nom nom nom. Uh, can I go down? Yes, we're good. Mildly evil flying centipede. Um, oh, it killed itself for some reason. Excellent. Restore karmic insurance. Uh, are the scavs hostile? Oh, hi. I'm too pacifist for this shit. Okay, yep, just do that. The middle pipe is always the correct choice. I'll bop you if I need to. I'll bop you, centipede. I could trade them for a wormer. Well, they seem to be fighting like a lizard and a centipede, and I didn't even know. I couldn't process the visual information on that screen. <laughs> that was just a nope moment. Nope, I don't want whatever's going on there. Uh, do I go up? I think I go down here, right? No, you don't go down. You super don't go down. Okay, was the middle pearl... Not the middle. The, was the middle pipe the wrong way? I thought the middle pipe was the right way. Maybe it was the bottom pipe. Because this is going up. I don't want to go up. I am curious where this goes at least. Yeah, this is super not the right way. Okay. I have no idea where that goes. So it must be the bottom pipe then. Which is... I swear, like, I made a conscious mental note last time I went through that intersection about, like, I always go the wrong way, the middle pipe is for sure the way to go every time. And that was... Out of the two choices, that was incorrect, apparently. Uh, the glitch tail... I haven't uploaded those yet, I keep forgetting. Um... The thing with the glitch tail upload, that's a big bummer. The I didn't make the mistake I made on the, the Underverse VOD. I, I did record my microphone. But, um, there was an obscure OBS setting turned on from all the way back when I did the fucking Delta cast, I think. Because I don't usually use that scene to record my voice. That actually made it so my voice was still not recorded even in the glitch tail VOD. So it's, both of the VODs are kind of fucked and they don't have my audio, but they still have everyone else's audio, so... Um, I can still upload them for other people to watch, uh, or no, th that's not what I mean. <laughs> I mean for, <laughs> there's still enough of the, of the call there that I think they're worth uploading even if 
my actual audio is missing. Uh, safety pole? Yes. Uh, is it this pipe? Where does this go again? This goes down. Oh, I think this is the right way. Yeah, this is the one. This music sounds like fucking, uh, Skyrim or Oblivion or something. It's kind of weird. Sky Oblivion music. Oh, no, no, no! Fuck me. That's unfortunate. Uh, thoughts on the burger pants nipples? I gave my thoughts, I think, during the Glitch Tale VOD, actually. Um, maybe that's what you're referring to. I, I do recall there being, um, yeah, Azzy Pants art with uh, Pidge nipples were involved. Not nipples belonging to Pidge, to be clear. I mean, Burger Pants' nipples were decorated with effigies of Pidge's profile picture. Which I didn't know how to feel about or what that was supposed to convey, but it was very interesting. Yeah, the watch parties. We may do some, some more one day. I don't want to keep doing them like immediately every week because I, I don't have any other immediate ideas on what to watch now. But um, someday those will return. I think. Uh, hi. Is that centipede aggroed? Can't even tell. Oh my god. Wow. Eat up. There we go. You usually have stuff going on Friday nights? Damn, that's the one time I thought the denizens of my server surely had nothing else going on. <laughs> God, you're pathetic. Would I do another multiplayer Rain World Discord thing? Uh, that tends to happen sporadically. That's not something that I even organize. That's like, um... If that was a case where someone was just playing Rain World in the voice chat, then I'm like, I, I guess I'll get into that action. Multiplayer Rain World is a bit on the jank side. It's, uh, well, for, for one, there's a bit of input delay, but also it's like, it's just inherently janky, as you can imagine. Ooh, a lantern. Yo, okay, that's big. Like, depending on what mods you have installed, the, basically you curate what Rain World co-op is by what mods you install to facilitate it. Like, it can be shared uh, food bar or separate food bars or split screen or all on the same screen or there's, there's a million different ways to do it and they're all kind of janky. Yeah, the, the main thing is the camera, because this game, like, the camera only follows one of you. Um, and so it's sort of like shared screen co-op, and there's various ways to mitigate the jank, but never remove it completely. Alright, great success. I did not recover the Karma Flower, though. Yeah, or you can make 16 player co-op and ruin your life. I found it very difficult to, um... We had friendly fire disabled for spears but not rocks, but even then it was very difficult to, uh... effectively fight as a team, because you're all, like, blocking each other, especially in pipes. It's very difficult to maneuver around other slug cats. Rock blocking, exactly. It didn't help that fucking Wonder was playing her uh, her custom character with like 19 food pips who could only eat meat. It took a while to uh, get enough <laughs> food for her shelter.
shit. There's a co-op mode where everyone looks like iterator puppets? The fuck is that? How do they move around? Are they just on like a floating puppet rails? Yeah, the game does seem like it goes out on a limb to not work like a normal video game. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Although a lot, f for multiplayer specifically, I think a lot of games are like that. If they weren't built originally with multiplayer in mind, it it's always very janky to patch it in afterward. You get weird shit like shared screen co-op. Even Binding of Isaac had really terrible multiplayer for a long time. I think they, they're finally... Uh, Updating it again to have even better multiplayer. The iterator mod is amazing. That's such a weird angle though. Everyone is an iterator? How does that work? Oh no! That screen transition. It feels like the saint dies from lizard bites 100% every time. I'm not sure if that's true, but it feels like that's true. Um, I respawn here with... Okay, so if I keep taking deaths here, I'm going to get stuck and have to grind again, which makes me want to find that Karma Flower, but that Karma Flower is probably deleted because I died twice in a row, so... Uh, just don't fuck up. This is not a good spot to get stuck. Wait, this isn't where I want to be. Fuck, fuck, wrong turn. It's just in here. Gotta take the bloody gate every time. I think the shelter is actually pretty close though. If I go to the left a bit. As long as I have food, I can just beeline to that shelter. I thought Noita did have multiplayer, like they somehow hacked it in. I, I might be remembering that wrong, but Noita strikes me as the kind of game that would have like five different competing standards for multiplayer mods and they're all horribly janky. Noita PvP. Noita is one of the few games that has single-player PvP. It's I've never seen it done before. That was interesting tech there. All right. Yeah, the shelter's right here, and I have enough food, so we are fine. Slurp. Sleepy time. Who are you fighting? Yourself. Killed by Minaw's saw blade. Yeah, gluttony unlocked. Magical quap, kinda. I think Rain World has more Quap DNA than Noita, but even then, not not much Quap DNA, just a little bit. You did the Sun Quest? I've never even tried. I, I have somehow got like 300 hours in that game, and I don't remember like how or when that happened because I haven't really accomplished anything. Hello, funny pipe lizard. Uh, I guess I'll go to Moon then. It's mooning time. Does Badalyn and Celeste count as single-player PvP? Uh, kind of. Badalyn is like an NPC more than anything, really. Even though in the lore, she is uh, one with the protagonist. Is that a King Vulture or just a normal? It's a normal one. Okay, that's fine. The snowy reskin of the area is cool, by the way, It's but it's hard to take it in when you're running for your life. Showed us to the fruit zone. Why do the centipedes do that when they go down poles? That's like really unsettling. They turn into DNA molecules.
Is there any food on the bridge? I think there was a popcorn bush, but that doesn't really help me, does it? Oh, hi there. Why are the mice out here? Can I be one of you? I'm just gonna like be a mouse for a second here and read chat. There's some under the bridge. Oh, that's what the fuck those are for. Those were there since the fucking survivor. And I'm like, Lamau, how do you get those? How the fuck are you supposed to get those ones? Saint says, let me demonstrate. Oh, actually I said I was gonna do the thing. There we go. Okay, this seems dangerous, but I gotta try. Oh yeah, not even hard. Saint was created to make those accessible. That was it. They were waiting since before the DLC. It was all for those fruit. Uh, I'm full. Hmm. That actually wasn't too hard. Um, I'm gonna bring that pearl still though. I want to give the pearl to Bluebo. I hope Bluebo's still alive or exists or whatever the fuck. I don't really know. She was doing better than ever last time, but I don't know. This is like a thousand years in the future by the looks of it. I don't know how long in the future this is. If all the pearls have turned white. Mouse, just sleep in the shelter with me. It's okay. You're fine. I can't even eat you. I'm physically incapable of ending your life. That's why the more slug cats team formed in the first place. It was all a quest to make that three fruit accessible. Originally, they were just called to make the blue fruit on that one bridge accessible foundation. <laughs> Do I remember what happened at the end of the rivulet? Yeah, we fixed Moon. She came back online to some degree, and she was playing Mahjong with five pebbles. Uh, but also, we took out Five Pebbles' power source, and he said, I am going to die! So, he's probably, like, fallen over or something, I'm guessing. Planned obsolescence is unheard of. The society would have benefited from some planned obsolescence, to be honest. By the way, I thought you ate the fruit automatically if you brought it into a shelter. Maybe it's some odd bug where it's only... Oh, okay, there's an issue here. It only eats the food if you're missing hunger when you enter the shelter as opposed to refilling it after you've already consumed the hunger. You know what I mean. Shaded was underneath pebbles, so it's crushed. Well, if I get five karma, I can find out for myself. Ooh. Uh, no, you don't need to go up there. Moving through corridors with Saint is very fun. Why are you hostile? Why you gotta be mad, bro? I'm literally a pacifist entity. I've not harmed a living creature except for that one cycle where I ate the bat fly that was an accident and it wasn't canon. Please go away. How do you possibly find this threatening? You've seen what I look like, you've seen the fan art, right? This is like a, a, a an ancient like shih tzu lying on the floor asleep. Can you move please? I'm, I'm going. I don't care. Ow. You're going to hell for that. You killed the saint. Oh, they want the pearl? But that's for Bluebo. Shih Tzus are mean? No, they're not. You can't have it. It's mine.
I'll juke you out. Try me. I'll go underground. Yeah? What's your plan now? What's your plan now, Scabs? Have fun. Ye agreed, monkeys. I'll redeem your souls or some shit after I finish my campaign. That's how to really get the last word in like an internet argument. See, so yeah, like, I'll redeem your soul when I, uh, when I'm done if you're lucky. And then you just stop responding. She sues the art of war. <laughs> yep. Speaking of which, my I've been watching something very funny recently, which is the um, well, for a while I've been going through the Wayne Radio TV uh, subathon vods, which is, he was playing Sonic games basically. But um, on the last stream which I skipped to because I wanted to see it. They did a, um, like, a, this fucking social experiment is the best way to put it. Like, basically everyone role-played as, um, like, kids on a Sonic Adventure forum in, like, 2008, basically. They made their own 2008 Sonic forum and just, like, role-played as role-players on the forum in a very high-concept fashion, uh... Oh, I thought I hit it with the brick, but I did not. Um, and holy fuck, it's good. Like, I don't know how they pulled it off so well, but it's uh, it's extremely funny. They really committed to it. It seems like for a whole week they must have been doing this, because there's, there's so many posts on this forum. And they spend most of a stream just going through and explaining the history, the stupid drama of, like, fake drama that they simulated. They were all running, like, five different accounts. Um, it's it's like homestuck x almost because of all these like exaggerated internet personas being used as caricatures. Like, it's really unique. Thanks for spoiling it. What did I spoil? Um, also, I don't know where the echo is in this zone. I have to find the echo before I can proceed. You heard uh, some on their podcast being cringe on the forum seemed to have been their childhood. It was. That's why they're so good at it, though. But the thing was that each of them, and I haven't finished it, so I don't know who is playing who, um, they each had their own, like, experiences to draw from, so they were all role-playing, like, different subsets of, like, weird internet dudo types. Um, oh, I fucking, like, that was cool. I jousted with that dude. I threw the rock right as he jumped. Um, this is not a safe room to hang out in. It's a bit mean to give me cyans that I can't even fight back. At least one is a Homestuck fan. I'm sure like half of them are Homestuck fans. Uh, this room is fun. There's a red... Oh, dear. Forgot about that. Uh, yay, yay. The Saint may be one of the few dudes who can actually outrun a red lizard. Um, I'm not getting past it like that, though. Holy shit. Can you fight the orange ones or something? Like, can you do something? He's really not going to move. Oh dear. That's like when you see Pyramid Head in the hallway and then he vanishes. Um, very bad. Can I, please? Uh, yay, yay, yay. Okay, that's not good. He's going back though? Am I safe? I think I escaped, kind of. They're faster than you though. He's smoking symbiotes. 
I'm gonna go back to the starting shelter and then go up the tower. That's the one place I can think of that like is this weird zone where it's high up and there's nothing there previously. I think that might be the echo. That's my hunch. A legit unspoiled rain world hunch. There isn't an echo? Why do you have to spoil it? I had a hunch. Well, now I'm checking anyway. That's what happens when chat spoils me on shit, is they do it anyway and waste their time. I will, in fact, use the shelter first, though. Wait, there's liquid water here? It's usable. It's just a bit moist. You can sleep here still. Come on. Ah, fuck. Okay, should I just make a beeline? No, I'm gonna go up there. I have to see what's up there. And then I'll move on to outskirts and see what's there. Ugh. Burr's gonna rot? They'll be fine. What? Yo, this is where germ lives. I found the germ hole, guys. Look at me. Maybe germ is the saint's origin story. They share a lot of similarities. I think germ was reaching a sort of enlightenment in Night in the Woods. He was on some sort of higher plane that most people couldn't reach. I'm rabies! That's it! That's the origin story of the saint! I became hyper-intelligent and enlightened via exposure to germ, and this is the result of this organism. You thought I said the germ-a-hole. Well, no. If I said germ-a-hole, I would have said germ-a-hole. That's the difference. Whereas, in fact, I said germ-hole. It's all connected. Oh yeah, I'm slurping. Nothing up there. Was there a pearl up here or something? Like, what the fuck is this place? There might have been a pearl, actually. Well... There sure is not an echo there. Ow. I didn't take any fall damage from that. It was completely safe. Wait, that's a death pit. Oh shit. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> I saw the pipe entrance at the last second. Oh my god. The holy ash lore is gone. It's so sad. Uh, wait, that's not a pearl. Where's my pearl? Fuck, I lost it. Where'd it go, dude? There it is, I found it. Okay, thank god. I have an arbitrary attachment to this pearl. Even though it's just a randomized white one. Alright. Let's-a go. Does the sauna refill your heat? It doesn't look like it does actually, which is a huge bummer. The sauna should max out your heat. Oh, it does, but not to the, uh, I guess I, it, it refills a certain amount, but not to full. Well, I got time in that case. Uh, scav coming. Oh, this looks bad. Is this like the hard mode outskirts? 
You're gonna hit me with the hard mode outskirts. Why am I killing this stupid thing? Oops. Okay, this is now sketchy. I don't care if I go deaf. I don't need to hear the threat theme anyway. Orange lizards are everywhere. Yeah, why? That's a good question. Why are they here? Who invited them? Alright, nice. Why is WD, Gans da <laughs> WD Gaster dancing at the bottom left? He's the karma mascot. Had to look a lot of the shit up for my fanfic. You made a Rain World fanfic? You wish they had not killed Flash. That was an important part of Homestuck. Well, it was... Yes. They... I don't know. I'm not the one to talk about the, uh... The sordid history of Homestuck and its preservation. You can talk to Shattuck about that or something if you want. All I know is that they, uh sold the rights to Viz Media and they didn't really give a shit and they sort of just, um, the version that exists in archival form officially is not very good after the death of Flash, so there's a, an unofficial one that you use instead. That's about the gist of it. Oh, that was good, very good timing. Um, did they bring back the drop wig zone for the saint? Do we have the drop wig hell? I don't see them, but that is usually an indication that they're there. We know about the secret pipe now, though. Cheater pipe. Will I go to pipe yard? What the fuck is in pipe yard? I don't even know how to get to pipe yard. We love urban jungle. You mean spurban jungle? I don't know about that urban one, but spurb is cool. I'm sure I've said this before, but that's the song that uh, convinced me to read Homestuck ultimately. It was an, an unrelated video, and I just heard spurban jungle, and I was like, damn, that's a cool song. I wonder what that's from, and I looked it up, and it was Homestuck, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I, this, we need to make this happen. Yummy fruit. Yours was black? That's a good one too. Uh, that, that's a Toby Fox one. Uh, Toby Fox didn't make Spurban Jungle. Um, I'm looking for... It's been so long since I've explored the left side of the, uh, the outskirts. That, that was like, not since Survivor had I been back here, so maybe there's a fucking echo here, I don't know. I would have been really bad at making progress at that point, so I don't think I really got into all the nooks and crannies. Warp. Weren't I going to Bluebow? Well, you see, to get to Bluebow, there is a five karma gate. And to get five karma, I must find an echo. There is, I'm just now realizing, um, another route through Garbage Waits that maybe doesn't need 5 Karma, but I I literally don't know how to get there, because I've never gone that way, I think. Ooh, I'll take that. I do feel relatively safe as this character, because he has so much, um... You can always run away, like there's nothing that can really chase you down, except maybe a vulture from overhead, but... Like a centipede, for example, would normally be like kind of difficult to actually escape from. Hmm. Not enough karma for farmer rays. Yeah, I forgot there was a gate. Is there no echo here either? Like in anywhere in outskirts? 
because if that's the case, then I'm, I'm here for no reason. I specifically went here to find an echo. Go drainage? I guess I'll go drainage. Um, I think I remember the way. I vaguely recall how to get there. It's been a while. Uh, and it may involve getting past that dude. Yep. Oh, never mind. There's a few orange lizards here, I've noticed. Just a few. It might be down here, is drainage. Wait, that's a lizard shit. It might be a dead one, but either way. Uh, this few. Okay. I don't like that. I think it's here, actually. This is drainage. Drainage also goes to garbage. Aye! Let me out, let me out! Ugh. I dropped the pearl. I want it. I want the pearl. The vulture's here. No way it got me out of that. I was going in the pipe. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, well I won't waste any time that time. Or this time, rather. Didn't be too hard to get back. Saint falls to greed. It's not greed, it's altruism. It's the- it's- if anything, it's the third sin. Which- no, that- that is greed, never mind. I want to give the pearl to Bluebow. Uh, I'm embarrassed to show up the Bluebow without a pearl to give her, you know? It's greed or altruism? That's a shitty sin. Those are like opposites. Okay, that was not the best landing pad, was the nest of centipedes. Hmm. I hope the uh, drainage karma gate isn't too high. Say that much. The fuck is this dude's problem? Get out of here. Nope. I've got Schlorpen to do. See you later. Uh, this isn't so good. Did I just grapple the centipede to get across? I was just winging it. That wasn't even the plan. That was so funny. Afraid the pearl for lantern? Well, you see, I could do that, but that would mean that I don't have the pearl anymore. Gotta have pearls for Bluebow. Hello? I want to go down there, but also it's filled with centipedes. That's a conundrum. It's a real pickle. Hmm, it is quite a pickle. There we go. Uh... Okay, the centipede is body blocking the pipe. Great. Hopefully the lizards will just like eat the centipedes or some shit. Or vice versa. You know, this looks auspicious enough. I gotta make my move some point. There we go. <laughs> it all works out. Okay, caramel lizard might respawn. Nope, it's a centipede this time. Cool. 
Uh, it, okay, the centipedes don't seem to really care about bricks. They don't really give a shit at all. We are down to, like, no karma. And I can't stun them with spears either, so the centipedes seem to be a problem. Farm karma? I don't want to. <laughs> Why do the centipedes like the cold so much? That's not really how bugs works, is it? Like they're they're not warm blooded. I'm trying to just like throw it away, but it sticks. Sticky. Uh, okay. This path is about as shitty as normal. Maybe a bit less shitty than normal, actually. That is a red lizard. Okay, bye. have been here. Oh, there's the caramel. Okay. Uh, that's not a red one. Wait, this, the scavenger killed that, I think. Well, good job, I guess. Wait, is this the farmer raise? I think, no, it's down this pit is the drainage system. Here it is. Wait, no, it's not this pit. This is just a shelter. Whatever. I thought it was this pit. Those are worm-blooded centipedes, everyone says. That's horrifying. Oh, that was a strawberry lizard? Why do the lizards look like scabs now? What is the world coming to? Fall of the West. I lost the pearl? Fuck, I did. I, I don't even know how that happened. God damn it. Well, it's deleted now. Um, this is the farmer raise, right? I think this just goes to farmer raise. There's food at least. No, it does not. Okay, might still be drainage. The west has fallen, the lizards are furries. Scalies and furries converge at the end of time, like Dark Souls 3. Hey, liquid water, that's nice. I guess for there to be a drainage system, there there usually is liquid water involved. Actually, yeah, that'd be pretty bad if the drainage system was frozen. I don't think you could really get through that. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a problem. They're brothers in paws. The lizards have paws? Is that a term you can use for a lizard? It doesn't seem like it should be. Like, if you have a gecko, does the gecko have a paw? Claws. But the claws... But you can have paws and claws. Like, a cat has claws and paws. There's no reason a lizard couldn't have claws and paws, too. You think paws is fine? Well, I'd like to see an expert's opinion on this. I'd like a second opinion. Uh... Wait, this is new. I didn't come this way before. Oh, it's just if you don't fall down the hole, you end up in the in this zone. 
Well, it's fitting that we're uh, aiming to reach the sin of gluttony because I got me some snacks. They just have feet, like Ral say. <laughs> the leeches have paws. We need a furry foot expert in stream. You're right, Pidge. Do you know any? If you want to be pedantic, they're a dactyly. Well, I don't know about pedantic, but we're being pretty podantic right now. <laughs> just backflipped into a pipe. That was impractical, but kind of cool. Bruh. Bruh? Oh, it's the, <laughs> the screaming. Stop, 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 stop. Well, okay then. That was aggro as fuck. Well, there goes the karma. I could use a karma flower right now. I don't love the caramel. Okay, literally all I need is a single blue fruit and I can sleep again and get back to literally where I was a second ago before I died. Hey, would you look at that? Yeah, give me. I want it. Wing. Oh no! These guys are fucking cracked. I don't like them. Just get in there. Okay, so now all the food supply in the region is exhausted, and I remain at three karma. Uh, where do I get more food? To go back, I guess? There's some in the up. I'm gonna have to stop and get some food too, actually. I realized the last couple streams I did, I think I just... I forgot that I take breaks. I literally forgot, like, usually I take a break halfway through the stream, but I just haven't recently. I just, I've been going for the, the entire time straight. This time though, I'm feeling uh, bodily needs such as hunger. So I might take a break uh, imminently and go eat a sandwich or something. Oh, a popcorn plant, but I'll just have to camp out to get that. So many wet tongue noises. <clears throat> I could just fucking camp here, I guess, but then I'd be vulnerable to a vulture. I don't know if vultures spawn here. doesn't seem very engaging. This seems like the kind of game that to add um, like a Skyrim weight function you would need to just simulate the entire world faster like Outer Wilds does which would make it like hardware dependent. Oh wait, one fruit respawned. That's something I guess. I mean, to, to accurately wait, like, all the creatures would have to move around faster, too, and they're all simulated, so... 
it would be an issue. That's the gate again. I can hear something above me. Apparently not. Oh wait, it's coming through that pipe there. I don't want that. I can starve and find food and drainage. Not the worst idea, but also not a great idea, because I'm not sure how far the first shelter and drainage is, I don't remember. <clears throat> and if I die, then I'm really fucked. There's a caramel lizard somewhere around here. Um, might be in the room to the left, actually. Why do I have a spear? My heat is still maxed up, but the snow is falling f harder now. Maybe that means the uh, the popcorn bush will open imminently. The decision is going to be made for me if I, like, I can't really find any food without backtracking, so I might as well just wait. I'm waiting here. Who came up with the caramel and strawberry lizard names? Someone who is hungry, probably. Where's the fucking pepper steak lizard? Where's the hamburger helper lizard? This is peaceful. This could be a screensaver, actually. This, this. It might be on wallpaper engine. I haven't checked. Currently, I'm running the, uh,. The view from the end of the Gourmet campaign. <laughs> the, looking up at five pebbles through the clouds. That's a sexy one. The pepper steak from off lizard. That's the full name. Don't skimp out. Saint Cocoon. Yeah, I've become a chrysalis. This is how the saint hibernates. Hey, you know your tunnel's gonna get frozen to the pole if you keep it like that. Maybe they won't recognize me as a living creature if I'm dangling from a rope like this. Who knows? Five minutes from now? Damn, we better start a conversation about Undertale AUs or something. That's the only way I know how to pass time in this game. Oh, this concept was, was raised before I started streaming actually on the server is, uh, uh, Undertale AU, uh, but it's Rain World, and uh, Five Pebbles is Kara. I say looks to the moon is Flowey, and Sliver of Straw, as always, is Gaster. How's that sound? That, let's make that the next fan fiction contest. Sounds good. All right, it's locked in. We're doing it. What's been What's been my favorite campaign so far? I. In some ways, it's hard to say. There's various factors. The rivulet was the most fun in some ways because it was the least painful and had the most like story content. Um, in some ways, the survivor was my favorite because it was like the most in depth and like the the pearl gathering arc felt very meaningful. It was like actually exploring the world and extracting its secrets and, and bringing stuff back to Bluebo was a lot of fun. Um, and Spearmaster was fun too. It had like the Sisyphus climb as a highlight. Overall, it's hard to say. Probably not the Gourmand. Just kind of, I think that's a common opinion, is the Gourmand is kind of uh, underwhelming in terms of narrative content.
any second now. Hopefully before I die. Bruh. Are you fucking kidding? Is it dead? It froze. As long as I can get my fucking popcorn. It's it's doing it. Okay. Get out of here. I swear to god. Uh I might die before it pops at this rate. It's doing it. That was so fucking funny. Why is Moon Flowey? Well, there's parallels. It's the it's the two siblings. Uh Pebbles is the one who wanted to kill himself. And and in and uh in accomplishing this goal dragged down his his sibling moon uh, and and she also died and, and so she's Asriel and therefore flowey it all connects the saint is frisk yes exactly human I remember your pacifists okay now I have to get back before I die easier said than done nope not that way fuck I think I've done it. It waked. You said Pebbles was Kira? Yes. And Sliver of Straws Gaster is self-explanatory. Pebbles is totally Kira. He's like the, the angsty, edgy sibling who is like, I have a plan that'll fix everything. I just have to kill myself. And then when and then when Moon doesn't cooperate, he drags her down with him. But in this metaphor, uh, Seven Red Suns is also Asriel, so it's more like it's more like just Pebbles as Kira than everyone else is Asriel. <laughs> Okay, now I have to not die again before I get down to the fucking place. Challenge difficulty impossible. Wait, you can just go that way? Weird. NSH of Sands, sure. Another 10 bucks. Damn, you're really uh, funding the stream, Metatarsalia enthusiast. But let me get to the shelter before I read that. Uh, Flowey is a moon overseer. Moon's full can, but only in a... But in an only semi-functional state is Photoshop Flowey. And the god of hyperdath is full functionally restored moon. That y you're making it connect. I agree fully. Uh, Flowey being an overseer makes, makes way more sense than anything I thought of, so perfect. I say this as if I've thought about this, like, at all. This was something that we were shit posting about literally, like, ten minutes before the stream started. Uh, what? Oh, that was just an echo. That was an echo noise. Okay, that's fine. It's weird that there's an echo down here. I associate echoes with being, like, high up. But I guess there was that one in the pit in farm arrays, so it, that's not a rule, obviously. Watch out for drop wigs. Ooh, okay, good point. I will watch out. Although this fucking ceiling makes it largely impossible, I think, <laughs> to do that effectively. Lamau. Nice try, Buster. Uh, it's very hard to see where a drop wig might be in here. I'm not gonna lie. Very hard. Yeah, like, good luck. Watch out for drop wigs. Fucking hell. Uh, okay, kelp. Is this even the right way? I hope so. I think the uh, drainage is more overgrown than it was previously. This isn't good. I'd like a rock to defend myself against the kelp before I proceed. There we go. Oh, it grabbed my, my toe. 
No leeches and more overgrown. Yeah, it's definitely a lot different. Uh, I hope there's somewhere to go in here. Oh, that's a, that's a pipe apparently. There we go. Maybe the leeches all froze to death. That would be nice. I mean, uh, that would be sad because I'm a pacifist who values all mortal life, but um, also it would be nice for me. Oh, that's a pole plant. Dude, I thought that was a fucking pole. That's how they get you. Uh, bye. I forgot that pole mimics were a thing. Come on. There's a big centipede up there. Oh no. Uh, just be fast. Where is the shelter in here? Is there a shelter in here? There's Oh, this is the karma flower room with no karma flower. What the fuck's the point? The scav has the karma flower. I passed it a while ago. Of course I did. Well, that's no bueno. Uh, the centipede is in the way. Hi. Do something. Bruh, as soon as I move, it's going to kill me. What's up here? Uh, oh, I think I know where the sh shelter is from here, actually. I recognize this area. It's through here. Uh, or maybe not. Whatever, I'm just going to keep going. Hey, though, new pearl for Bluebow, by the way. Have I already done the permadeath playthrough? Uh, no, I haven't. I've been putting that off because I didn't want to lock other uh, content behind that because I have no idea if I can even fucking do it. There might be red centipedes here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. There's lots of centipedes in general. I haven't seen a red one yet. Moisture. It's too shallow to swim in. Annoying. Uh, do I just go down here and die? It seems like I just go down here and die, probably. Uh, please don't put me underwater. I know this room. Does this lead to those balls? The ballroom? Wait, oh, there's leeches again. I thought the leeches all died. Rip off. Get out of here, leeches. I'm gonna desiccate myself like a clove of garlic here. Those are green leeches? They're not forever, forever, surely. They suck the food pips. Oh, no. Uh... That's bad. Shake him. I can shake. I had one of these stuck to me for like an entire cycle once. It, it fucked up a jump I needed to make as a... Uh, I forget who that even was. Gourmand, maybe? I just had a leech stuck to me and it would just... It would not let go and its physics was enough that it disrupted one particular jump that I had to make and I just... I timed out and died. That was the whole cycle. That is a red centipede by... No, 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 no. Okay, I'm not fucking with that. Um, I don't think I can swim back up with the leeches is the problem, right? You see, the issue here is if I go back through that pipe I came from... Was that a stowaway? I didn't see it. Um, if I go back through that pipe, the leeches will weigh me down and I might not be able to get back up in time. Grapple up. Oh, maybe. Let's try it. It's a good start. I, I can't grapple. You, you fucking, you told me to grapple underwater. Pressing space underwater kills you. Damn it. Well, that's a lot of uh, progress now lost. Did I eat a karma flower? I did not. I'm 
to backtrack for the food. Um, some of it respawned below, didn't it? I, I should go get that first. Uh, out. Don't die again, holy shit. Okay, that's enough to sleep again, so it's fine. Unless the lizard kills me. Um, the shelter is in the first room with the three pits go in the first one. Ah. Okay, good start. As long as the caramel lizard doesn't immediately uh, rush you down, it seems to be pretty easy to get back. Watch out for drop wigs. Yep. Okay, there's a vulture coming to eat me. That's very cool. I'm getting all this fruit. Can't waste it. What would I do with a drop wig though, hypothetically, if I saw it? I guess I could throw a rock at it, but then it would just rush me down and eat me probably, so I don't like that scenario. I don't see a drop wig. Change the heat gauge. I don't have a heat gauge down here. Never mind. Yeah. So this could also be drop wig room. That God, I that could almost be a drop wig. I could be hallucinating though. Dude, I don't, I don't fucking know. It wasn't a drop wig. Oops. Where the fuck? Let me out. Oh my god. Come on. Uh, leech pit. Okay, don't fall in there. This is the undergrowth now. It's not the drainage system. Alright. You don't want to fall down there. If I grapple the fruit, that would be really bad. Um, I thought I missed the turnoff for the shelter way earlier, but I still haven't seen a room with any forking paths. Oh, there it is. The three pits go down the first pit. Got it. Ow. Fuck you. Ooh, insurance. Love that. Wait, I think I found this shelter, or maybe it was a different one, like way into my drainage experience as survivor. It might be a different shelter. How many echoes so far? Two? 
Two echoes. We got that free bubble fruit. Um, I'm going to call a quick break here because I want to have a sandwich or something, get my blood sugar up, um, and then we'll continue on for a few hours probably. I guess I'll just leave it on the uh, funny meditation screen here while the saint sleeps. Okay, be back in a few minutes.
Okay, I am back and with sandwich it is peanut butter and jelly like that one meme from 60 years ago. <laughs> Everyone's found the description. I work hard on those. I'm glad they're appreciated. No honey. Uh, I would have used honey, but it's currently in the, the the congealed, crystallized state, and I didn't have time to revert it to liquid form, so I just used jelly. Or a jam? I don't know if there's a difference between jelly and jam. It's raspberry jam, I guess, so it's not really jelly. quiet because I'm eating the sandwich. Everyone in Hispanic countries always says that they don't have peanut butter there. I find that very funny. It seems to be a thing. Um, but also important lore. Chat says, didn't the guy who made that song die in a hostage situation shootout with the police? I don't know. If he did, that is uh, <laughs> news to me. I, I didn't hear about that. important distinction. Was he the one taking the hostages, or was he the hostage? Or was he the police? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly. He was shot by the police in a shootout. But was he a hostage? Or was he like a criminal? Was he a bank robber? Like what? He was the criminal. What the fuck? What was he doing? Oh, hi Molly, by the way. Hi Molly. We're talking about the violent death of the peanut butter jelly guy through a mouth full of peanut butter and jelly. Oh yeah, the fucking um, that was one thing that came out of the Glitch Tail stream or the Glitch Tail watch party rather. There wasn't a live stream. Was um, we were editing the scene where uh, where Bet Noir gets like brutalized by Gaster. It was like horribly violent and really weirdly out of place. Uh, we were like YouTube pooping it with story of Undertale, but um, yeah, peanut butter and jelly time would go pretty hard. Someone else in chat says this is misinfo, which would not surprise me. I'm still eating the sandwich. We'll get we'll get back to it eventually. Hang on. The uh, the watch party was recorded, but um, through two unrelated reasons, both of the vods are missing my audio. They're two separate fuck-ups, so um, I'll upload them eventually. He's also the brother-in-law of Snoop Dogg. Okay, this is getting stupid. This is just like you're making shit up now. This is the real-life AU, yeah? <laughs> No, that part is true, but there's something else is misinfo. So are you saying, Snossip Snob, 
that there was a man who was the brother-in-law of Snoop Dogg who did die in a police shootout, but he did not create peanut butter jelly time. Is that the stipulation? I'm gonna bring back the game. Saint is very cute. He was the singer, but he didn't make the song. Ah. So the misinfo part was actually rather minor, and all of the stupid stuff is true. Okay. Great. Almost finished the sandwich. I know that if I don't eat it immediately, I'm going to leave it on my desk and forget, and it's going to go stale. I believe that Nomad, I might be recalling this, I, I got a passage as Artificer before unlocking Survivor, and that's supposed to be impossible, but like, um, I think Nomad might be the one that's bugged. Your favorite character in Rainbow the Saint, with no speaking lines. <laughs> He just meditates and runs around like a little dude. He was also D.B. Cooper's evil twin. Well, that checks out. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Uh, do the other skugs have lines? No, that's the point. There's uh, there's two characters in the game with, like, spoken dialogue. Um, unless you count archived uh, Discord DMs. And none of them are the player characters. Okay, beating the sandwich. We're back. We're so back, and as soon as I drink some tea and flush the peanut butter out of my mouth, we're really gonna be back. That's quite a <clears throat> an intense effect it does there. It really wants you to notice that there is a echo. Time for some banger undergrowth gameplay, lads. I know, I'm excited. Too bad my paws aren't as moist as rivulets. I gotta pop these without getting wet. The more I thought about that, by the way, the weirder it seemed that, like, the rivulet was so moist, it would. It wasn't just that it was aquatic it like generated moisture it was incapable of being dry like an otter in real life is an aquatic animal who looks like a slug cat but you c there's such a thing as a dry otter they don't like self moisturize if you keep them out of a lake they won't generate like sweat or slime uh, it's interesting implications like why does rivulet do that it's just sweat <laughs> Oh, that makes sense, I guess. It's, it's running very fast the whole time, so it's probably sweating quite a lot. Um, although most animals don't sweat who have fur is the thing anyway, so that also doesn't make sense. Huh. It just pisses itself constantly. Yeah. Uh, I forgot. Well. It's cocaine sweats. Yeah. <clears throat> It seems vaguely likely that all the slug cats are a little bit slimy, but the rivulet's just like sopping, dripping wet. It's oil? Yeah. That's how they stay watertight, is just constantly secrete 
oil that keeps the uh, the water off of their skin. Okay, don't touch the pole. Don't do it. Oh, I touched it. I didn't grab it, but I touched it. Uh, hi. Damn it. Undergrowth is hard. Ducks are kind of oily. Or they have never touched a duck. I've never tried to. Flip-flop. Yeah, we've there's been debate about this on the server that I've seen about whether the slug cats are the um that one purpose organism that you find the blueprint for. Who are designed to be pipe cleaners. And uh it seems to be at least implied, like they give you that one blueprint about a pipe cleaner, and you're like, well I can go through pipes, I'm stuff. It's like, well, why would they give you that one blueprint only and have it be slightly related to you if you weren't that one? It just seems kind of like uh, okay. Just seems like a weird move. Okay, what do I do about this? Ducks are oily not to get wet. Makes sense. Uh, slug cars are made for driving, not cleaning pipes. What is a slug car? Oh, someone did the typo. Uh, dude, this fucking guy. He's spawn camping me. have to just make a break for it. Nope. Ain't gonna happen. All the karma is drained. How much karma do I need to get to the garbage wastes? No, if I find the echo, it'll refill my karma anyway, so... I guess it's not a huge issue. Om nom nom. Um, alright. Do we even need to go forward? Or can I go this way? The pole plant is scary. Use the map to detect lizards. Uh, no, I came this way. This was the leech pit room. That's a broom. This is just a blue lizard. These guys are, aren't a big deal. They can't fight back. Well, I guess I have to get fucking baked in that case. Can I get in there? Chow down. Let's go. We're scugging it. That worked somehow better than I could have possibly imagined. <laughs> Grapple the lizard itself to avoid the lizard. Whole plant didn't even see me coming. Go down. Okay, I'll go as down as possible. Room. Oh, Saint on Mushrooms is actually a force to be reckoned with. Get those, like, frame-perfect grapple timings. Dude. I I had no chance. The snail. Frame one. Frame one out of the pipe, the snail knocked me into the leech pit. Immediately. I 
I don't need karma anyway. I'm just gonna see the, the fucking the echo and get refilled. Do 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 do. Hey, a karma flower though. That's fucking useful. Okay, assume I don't want to sleep again because I want to have food prepped for the next, uh, another shelter in here. I could try to do a bit of karma farming to make the karma flower useful, but I'd rather just, um, bet on success here and try to go deeper. That's a, that's a mimic. Remember. Oh my god, I can't get out. It's too high. Fuck, I didn't grab it. I swear I didn't grab it. Okay, who's stronger? It's fucking shaking, holy shit. Eh. Yeah, this room's not too bad. Where's Kayava play? That's the Sky Islands, I believe. R.I.P. Squid. Oh wait, the squids are ignored by the leeches, it seems. They don't care. Can you fuck off, snail? I'm having a seizure. What? I really do have, like, brittle bones. Saint is allergic to snails. That's another mimic. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, uh, yeah, this was the one that was blocked by the evil centipede. Um, to the right is a dead end, and up... I was supposed to be going down, not up, though, so what the fuck is... what is this? Yeah, this isn't gonna go well. Hello? Is it gonna come in after me? They don't like going through pipes. There we go. Like a rock, I guess. <clears throat> oh yeah, the pipe. I already found uh, the pipe that went deeper. Oh no. <laughs> That's fucking bad. Yeah, eat the blue lizard and leave me alone. I like that compromise, alright? Or just continue to block my path in perpetuity. That too. Oh, this is it. Uh, I'm not getting the pearl this time, I'm sorry to say. The pearl is kind of being used by those, uh, those animals. They don't even eat meat? I didn't see that. Is that an eel? Oof. I'm not sure what you do about that. <laughs> the lizard in the flooded tunnel. Hmm. Plop, plop. I guess I could have hit it with a rock and that would have done something. Okay. <clears throat> mm. Oh, 
Ah, oh, fuck off, lizard. Okay, it seems like the path is linear at least. I just have to run the gauntlet, get through that little moisture tunnel, and then it's good to go basically. And don't touch the uh, the pulmonix. What have you missed since the break? Uh, it's just me running through this area. <clears throat> Haven't made any uh, meaningful progress. That is a mimic, I think. No, that's. It looks too crusty to be a mimic. I don't fucking know. I don't need. I don't, I don't need to touch it. Just avoid it. All right. There's no giant centipede this time, which is a huge win. Uh, there may be one coming through the pipe, though. It's a baby centipede. Fuck. Fuck! It came back. Ah. Uh. This area is brutal, apparently. I don't remember it being uh, this hard to get around in here. I guess there weren't really many lizards before. It's, it's a different region now. Yeah, all this clusterfuck of animals running around doing shit is kind of new to the zone. Scavengers are here too for some reason. It just turbo murdered me. It, it might as well have thrown a nuclear bomb. Why did it even do that? They're in here because it's warmer than the outside, but they're in the outside too. They clearly don't give a shit. So. Okay. A turbo murder, murder is a sequel to Ultra Kill. Clearly. Okay. What we do here is go back. Okay, where can- oh, that's bad. I'm still amazed they got the rope physics to wrap around objects so effectively like that. Waiting for the full release of Ultra Kill. It's probably not even that far off at this point. They're already in like, what, Act 7 or something? We're onto the Violence Zone. Where you fight Violence Johnson from Chainsaw Man. Uh, okay. That is a. I'm gonna assume that's a mimic. Yeah, it seems to be an infinite cycle. Because there's no longer rainstorms. There are blizzards, but we're underground, so the blizzard can't reach us. <laughs> Therefore, um, completely immune from harm. Uh, okay, now we just hope for no whammies in the pit here. No eel lizard. And if there is, I'll be ready and I'll throw the rock at its head. Not the spear, that's not going to help. I don't see it. It's not here. Okay. This is a really awkward spot to fight a lizard in. 
Like I wouldn't want to try that. Uh, wait, didn't I get here before Bennett was blocked by a fucking red centipede? Oh god. Hello there. Uh, oh, it's also a leech pit. I forgot about that. What fun. I love this zone. I love it. Can I get over the, the hump? Can this thing not leave the water at all? It seems really quite helpless. Because I wanted to come to this side of the pit so I can get into that pipe safely. I guess I can just do it unsafely if I need to, but... Mm. Going for it. Wait, don't go in that one. What the fuck are you doing, Saint? You're getting sucked into a, a wall hole. Oh, uh, there's the drop wig. Wait, it didn't get me? What the fuck? Now it got me. <laughs> now they bring back the drop wigs. Yeah, the eel lizards weren't much of a threat with the rivulet, because you could just outswim them, basically. This is like a very brutal gauntlet, suddenly. Like, most of the rooms in here have the potential to kill you, it seems. Depending on uh, what enemies are, uh, are wandering through. Okay, if I'd been looking for a drop wig then, I still don't think I would have seen it. That was like a really densely carpeted bit of ceiling there. I don't think I really had a chance of spotting that. There were some rooms coming in here when I was looking for drop wigs where I just had to acknowledge, like, if there's one here, I'm not gonna see it. I'm just fucked. Okay. Getting fast with the movement. That snail will kill me if I let it. That is a mimic, probably. I repeat it to myself so I don't forget. It is a mimic. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Someone else said that the other way is the long way. I remember I took chat's fucking guidance and drainage system before. They led me in a, a circle to the hell and I accomplished nothing. I see a path in front of me and I'm, I'm just going to keep following it. Get good RNG. Rainworld is the kind of game where you have to get good at the RNG. It's like that. Okay, the blue lizard is here. <clears throat> okay, I, I see that time I got very, very good at the RNG. The blue lizard entered the pipe slightly after I uh, went through it, and so I was safe. Um. Oh, don't touch that water. Get every fucking STD in there. Yeah, no shit, this is the best region for drop wigs, because I can't see them at all. Oh, I, I can just go up here if I, if I want to. That is a ceiling, though. Ah, this fucking guy. Why did they put him here? You saw what he did last time, but he just body slammed me. <clears throat> no recourse. Uh, I have to bait him down. Hello. And very quickly, somehow it worked. You gotta be fast. They come through those pipes in like half a second. <clears throat> I have a permanent frog in my throat now, it seems. That's annoying. <clears throat> Where am I? 
Where am I? Actually, where am I? I'm... I'm gone. I bugged out. I'm in the wall. I'm stuck in the fucking wall, guys. Wait, I can move? I'm like out of bounds and I have slight control over my movement. Wait, isn't that a mechanic in this game? You can like wiggle in bounds if you get stuck? How do you do that? Oh, I did it! I mashed spacebar and I got back. Well, that was cool. The saint has seen the other side, the back rooms, beyond the veil. That's how they became enlightened. Hi, Kelp Chen. Gaster pilled. Saw a sliver of straw for five seconds. I got sucked back into the mortal plane. That's what Sliver of Straw discovered. Out of bounds clipping. It just makes too much sense. Kelp Senpai, I am stuck in your tunnel. What? What even was that? What even was that? Was that an eel that was like off screen? I still can't see it. It's tails wagging around. Okay, we are back. This is like a spear master level, uh, like sticking point now. This is going to be one of those like 40 death shelters. I didn't improv the kelp senpai by the way, Pidge said it first. I elaborated on it, but it's it's Pidge's fault. Oh, thanks for that, bro. <clears throat> Disabled the uh, the pull mimic for me. I'm sure that was the intent, and it wasn't trying to kill me. No way, haha. Oh, I fucking saw that. I'm too fast for you. I got moves. I'm like if Sonic the Hedgehog was green, and uh, free of the five carnal urges. What do you think Sonic the Hedgehog's primary carnal urge is that would keep him tethered to the mortal plane if he were to do it, try to ascend in the Void Sea? Discuss. <clears throat> lust? I think that's more of a fan take. Gluttony? Lust? He's obsessed with chili dogs. Well, he does eat chili dogs, but I imagine he burns a lot of calories running so fast, so it makes sense that he needs to eat so much. The sex shoes. They do look kind of like Sonic's shoes, you're right. The, in fact, the character in the sex mural might be Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a disturbing thought. The fifth one, self-preservation. Sonic is very good at not dying. Uh, he can, in fact, sustain infinite damage as long as he always picks up one ring, uh, which is very impressive. Hmm. Too many friends. Yeah, probably, realistically, it's probably the third one. Uh, having too many um, mortal relationships with people. Having too many friends, the power of friendship, is in fact his downfall. In the context of ascetic um, cyber Buddhism. So I think Shadow the Hedgehog is actually much closer to enlightenment than Sonic by that standard. So, <laughs> no, not lust. I'm talking about friends. All his cool friends, like Big the Cat, and Tails Gets Trolled, and Knuckle. Okay, the leech pit is on the left. I shouldn't go in the left pit or I get leeched. Understood. That is... what is that? What the fuck is that? 
Is that a spider? I couldn't even tell what it was looking at there. <clears throat> that was just a mass of limbs. Where the fuck did it go? Is there a drop wig? Can you tell if there is a drop wig, chat? La Creatura. Knuckles absolutely has achieved max karma. I could see it. I think Knuckles already... Knuckles already is a monk. Like, he lives in isolation at a holy site and, and guards uh, the Master Emerald, right? So... Knuckles is already there, basically. Like, he don't chuckle. He'd rather flex his muscles. He doesn't really have uh, have many friends. He doesn't show any romantic interest. He doesn't have greed or aspirations. He just knows one duty, which is to guard the emerald. Uh, that's a sp What kind of spider even is that? Is it like a mother spider? It's greenish? It's actually wigging me out. I've never looked at a spider this much before, and it's like actually kind of triggering some fucking very visceral goosebump response. I- 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 okay. Um, I wish it would stop being there. The spiders in this game have never bothered me before. I have to go past it. The screen scroll is fucking me. I grappled the spider! Fucking Chad move. Conquer your fears by grappling that which you are afraid of. I unlocked arachnophobia. I mean, I, I'm pretty afraid of spiders normally, but the Wayne World ones haven't bothered me until just then. Uh, am I going up? I don't recognize this place at all. I probably want to go down. Uh, is that going to kill me though if I go down there? You never know. I'm looking for the... The screen's not scrolling. Yeah, that's that's death. Yikes. Okay. Um, I want the echo. Or the garbage wastes. Like, either one of those would be great. Um, but where are they? Because this is the only route that I can see. Go back to the big room with the pearl and kelp. Oh yeah, you can go past the kelp. I fucking forgot. Okay, that's just the other side of the death pit. The spider is spazzing out over there. Um, let's just avoid it. Oh, there are leeches in there. You can just avoid them sometimes if you're lucky. The lizard's back. I tried. I tried. It didn't get me off screen, but it was very, very close. Cult of the Lamb music? Eh, a little bit. So I have a new route now. That's almost like progress. Getting out of that pipe is a bit of a challenge sometimes. Rain World is kind of like Gollum. <laughs> Maybe. And that mostly in that you can really comically fall to your death sometimes. You just mean that it's the best game ever made. Mm -hmm. 
Why is it here? Why is it here? Why was it here? How do I get past it? Can it go underwater? Oh, he's going. All right. The gate only needs one. It better need one. Holy shit. Okay, where is it? Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. Did the... Is the... Who wins? Does the pole plant beat the centipede? I have to know. The pole plant kills the red. Holy shit. Those guys are strong as fuck. I've not seen that happen before, but also that's because I haven't really seen red centipedes in general before much. Uh, I'm stuck. Help. There we go. Okay, gotta get past the kelp. The kelp has not spawned, so I guess that's easy. All right. <laughs> that works. I'm not sure what the uh, the tactic in the in the guidebook is, but I'll take it. Whole plants through concentrated silliness soar up their energy to take down other animals. That makes sense. Every time the, the pole plant fails to kill the slug cat, it charges up some like vengeance power, some karma, and it can use that to destroy uh, godlike entities. Oh, stillness, not silliness. Same thing. This would be a great time for a drop wig to kill me in one hit. In this room specifically. I think this would be a really good room to put a drop wig in. Does anyone see it, chat? Where's the drop wig? I passed a shelter? Is it here? Oh. Huh. Shelter. Nice. I don't tend to take, um... Tapes that lead to the same room. Usually it's just like a case of going from a uh, room transition to transition. Lust mode activate. That's my favorite sin. Yeah, cool. Sonic purges himself of the second carnal urge by punching pregnant women like he does in that one fan fiction. Eat these the scavengers. Hello. Alright. They're gonna just occupy themselves being eaten by lizards and allow me to freely access the fruit reserves. Love that. You tried to kill me. Why do they hate me? Oh, fucking hell. Every time. The gutters where the rivulet starts? Oh. I forget the starting areas escape my, mem my memory pretty easily. <clears throat> it's like you go through them so quickly then you're into other things and you forget where you actually spawned. Lust mode deactivates! You're out of horny jail for now! Sonic was turning into Matt Pat there for a sec. There's a lot of convergence between the voices. A cyber Buddhist theory. All right, Saint. You know what to do. Keep the mushroom on hand for when you have to go turbo mode. Eat 
It's time for the carnal sin of wrath. I'm going to beat you to a pulp. You're going to pick up your teeth with broken fingers. Yeah, that's kind of like Sonic Pat. It's it's neither one nor the other. It's it's between them. Uh, what's going on here? There's a spider in the way. I hate it when they... Usually spiders are like flopping around crazily then you can avoid them, but they're just like... They're just camping there. Which is my least favorite thing spiders do in reality, too. Uh, okay, so do I... Do I dose up on shrooms then just go in? I'm gonna do it. Fuck you. I'm coming. The other spider is up there. Non-trivial to avoid, but I avoided it. There's a third spider. There's enough fucking spiders, game. You don't need any more spiders. Uh, that's a green one, though. They're kind of passive, I think. Usually, sometimes, if they feel like it. They're passive until they're aggressive. Um, I could have gone up. The only way to go from here is underwater, unless this is an actual path I can take, which it's not. I guess I try it. Oh, this is a long swim. Risky. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, just fucking barely. That was a sketchy swim. This is the rivulet start. I'm not supposed to be here. Fuck. I gotta go back. They could have at least put a bubble weed here if you like you made the death swim in the first time. It's like, okay, you can go back for free. But no. Nah. Well that sucks. Uh huh. Well if I can do it once I can probably do it again, but that was a a, a tighter swim than I was anticipating. I wanna get the dive to start with. Okay, that's probably good enough. Don't get stuck on the top like I did last time. There was more friction. Okay, it's not too bad if you don't get uh, bonked on the top of the room. Fucking hell. Get out! God, they're aggro as fuck. Are these the ones that kill you immediately if they touch you? I don't even know. Jesus Christ, they're just in the way. How am I supposed to fight the, the spiders in like a spider-sized tunnel? They made the area entirely filled of like three block wide tunnels and filled the tunnels with three block wide spiders. Uh, the giant pit doesn't lead anywhere. There's like an, an invisible wall on top. There's like a spider carrying another spider to kill me. They're all having a fucking spider jamboree. That's a spitter. God damn it. What do I do about this, dude? Where? What's my recourse? <laughs> Official Saint Streamworm would be good merch, I agree. Oh, that's not a death pit? You can just go in that. Why is the solution always to jump into what looks like a death pit? Works perfectly, okay. Now we're cooking with gas. I think, maybe. I have no idea. All I know is that somewhere in this fetid hole, there is the uh, the echo of an, a dead ancient who will raise my karma. That is a drop wig. Unfortunate. 
but I lived. This is garbage waste, but I thought there was an echo down here. I mean, I, I'm doing both ultimately, but like I, I need to get the echo in general, I think. This is to, the echo is on the left. Ah, fuck. I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Give me that fruit. Well, I just came here to uh, get some fruit, actually. I didn't have any further intentions. I love that direction, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, if you get to the, uh, the karmic echo of the engines, you're going to want to go left of the crossroads, but uh, the garbage waste is to the right, so I hit that up after you're done. Fucking mimic. I committed violence? Oh, I hit a dropper with a rock. Uh, I don't think those are uh, animals. They're gross bugs. It's a different classification. There we go. Nom nom nom. Uh, this is where that cursed pearl was that I spent 200 years trying to recover. The stream is sponsored by fruit. Uh, that was a colored pearl, but now it is drained of color and useless, to my understanding. <laughs> I hope there's an echo in here. It's just like a gross sewer otherwise. What the fuck is this room? This is wacky. Is that a fungus or something? Also, how do I get in that? Oh my god. Traded Citadel Mark II. Hey chat, can you see the drop wig? It is a scary area. It's just like... I feel like there's not going to be any actual enemies in here, otherwise it would be uh, just unreasonable, but spooky. Ah. Thank God for the map, by the way. How would you get past that without a map? I'm not even sure how to get past it with a map yet. There we go. Oh, it's here. It's coming up. Pretty fast bear. The other colored mushroom. Ah, oh, fuck. This is gonna be huge amounts of fun to scale. Um. I can do it. I have the vertical mobility. Oh my god, this area is fucked up. Sisyphus climb, no, not even. This almost sounds like Disco Elysium music. Is that the Steam logo? Kind of looks like the Steam logo there. Uh, there's a pipe. The right. Yes. Yo, it's him. Do you see the same as me? Can I get up there first? Beauty continuing to bloom even in a place long forgotten. I did not have the will to depart, nor the desire. Why did they always search for an escape, as if we were imprisoned? 
What offering from the void could usurp the gift of life already given? This moment right here, it is where we are meant to be. Rare pro-life ancient. That was uh, used as evidence. I remember seeing that one come up in the... Uh, it was one of those. Maybe that was the History of the Ancients video I watched, actually. Um, that was used as evidence that the mass ascension that made all the ancients disappear was actually, like, compulsory, which I'm not sure that's totally cut and dry. No, I think that that's not necessarily a non-nihilist ancient. That's kind of a... That's that's not really the right term. Is it? They, it could have still been a nihilist, but anyway, it's a. I, I interpret that as it either could have been like um, an ancient who was sort of like socially pressured into ascending and then realized afterward that they didn't really want to, uh, or um, or it could have been an actual like forced pogrom of uh, everyone gets thrown into the void lake, ready or not, here it comes. Uh, I don't know. It's it's a bit weird to think about, in either case, how an entire civilization could have, like, as a unified effort, killed themselves so thoroughly that we never see one again. I'm serious. I don't know. I'm not a phil philosopher. I don't know really the terminology, but it seems to me there's, like, there's a divide to be drawn between philosophies that are in favor of mortality as the canonical existence and those who see mortality as a uh, either a transient period or an explicitly negative thing to be overcome, such as uh, my understanding of Buddhism, at least. Uh, I don't know if there's terms for that divide. Ooh, fruit. Yeah, like a massive scale Jonestown type thing. Dual wield the spore shrooms. Okay, was this the uh, the way up again? Wait, how did I even get there? I I would have gone up. Oh no, you jumped down the hole. This is further back than I thought. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Ow. Ow. Ah, oh, the mushrooms. Fuck. They'll never take me. There's two of them, though. Oh, fucking hell. I think my tongue is, like, made of adamantium, though. Like, they can't overcome it. What the fuck is happening? The physics are bugging out. I have to give up eventually. <clears throat> I think they're in a loop. Little creature, you are stuck in a cycle. A repeating pattern. Well, say goodbye to five karma. It's fitting when you got the uh, survivor rank from that uh, from that particular echo. That seemed to be the the carnal urge that it was actually embodying. <clears throat> I don't know if there was like a gluttony echo necessarily, but. Ouchie, ouch. Fucking hell, I already forgot that that was a mimic. Okay, I have to go right this time. That was the premise of this. Through the garbage waste, which I don't really want to go through, but at this point it's easier than backtracking to the Citadel. I am, I'm just really comfy with the Citadel at this point, paradoxically. Ow. 
Ow. Ow. <clears throat> I was killed. Three karma. Let's give it up for three karma. <clears throat> Bring a pearl for the scams. I got bigger problems. I'll find a pearl in the waste if I need to. <clears throat> I might bring a mushroom though, those are fun. Some fruit. I'm eating. Okay. There was no mushrooms there. Keep reminding myself that these are mimics. Success. I feel like your brain never quite goes back to being how it was before you played Artificer. You just permanently see scabs as the enemy. Is this just for fun? Yep. This is my home. It was made for me. Okay, where's the drop wig? I don't fucking see it. People said you could watch for movement, but like the entire screen is wiggling because of this like graphical overlay. So that doesn't help. It's just not here this time. There it is. Oh my god, how did I see <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, well all I can do is bop it with a rock, and that's just going to make it fall down and attack me anyway. Uh, so, let's try it. But that got stunned for a while, actually. Nice unlock. What did I get? Hmm. <clears throat> Apparently this is the home of the Biofog Graffiti, which is a known entity, apparently. I'm not familiar with the Biofrog Graffiti. Banger region over. I'm so glad. <clears throat> Oh yeah. <clears throat> My voice is fucked. I think it was the uh, the watch party that was uh, six hours of talking. Actually more like eight hours at least with the uh, considering how long the call went afterward. Um, then yesterday I had like a four hour long RAM meeting so I'm a bit hoarse still is the point. The very stealthy drop wig. It knows that it doesn't have to be stealthy, because I can't really do anything, regardless. I can just swing under it real quick and hope. I guess that was pretty effective. That is an evil spider. Oh, I was like... I heard the music come on and my brain went somehow like, wait, there's an NPC with an accordion here. I have to find Cass the Birdman. I don't know why that happened. Uh, there's a... 
Well, do I swim through the leech pit to get the pearl? That sounds like a fun time. Let's try it. This almost sounds a bit like a Night in the Woods Astral Alley music, to be honest. It's in the the overlap zone. I could use the food anyway, but the evil spider is gonna get me. Wait, but the evil spider fights the drop wig. And goes in a hole. Cool. Oh, that's some real good brain rod. Imagine like a, a night in the woods furry, but a slug cat. That would be cool, I think, and funny. Wait, is this where I had to go to get the fucking artificer pearl? This place sucks. I think it might be. Oh, leech pit, fuck. That's a green one, damn it. You hate to see it. Oops, that is a lethally sized centipede. No thank you. Uh, how do I get past it? I doesn't care about rocks at all. Yeah, this is totally that room. Okay, I wonder what's in here now. I'm curious, at least. This is the glacial wasteland. Are we back in the cold zone? I hope the rod is at least dead. Well, the rod's dead because the artificer fucking killed it all. I had to kill so much rot to get through here. Okay, the rot is dead and has been replaced by drop wigs and spiders, which is... Oh no, don't give me the tranquilizer spider and the red centipede. Don't do that. I don't want it. I don't want it. No! 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 Fuck! Destroy the city! I came so close to escaping. If I could have grappled the ceiling, I would have been fine. The game crashed. <laughs> it shorted out my client. Uh, all right. Let's try again. Boom, boom, boom. A fist fought a red centipede. I saw a video of someone killing a red centipede unarmed as the gourmand. There's a thing you can do where you can like repeatedly um backflip and roll into it and you can stun lock it and actually beat it to death with your body. It's really funny. Alright. Love the Gorm. I'm finally immune from the uh, the spear grabbers because I have no spears to grab. Woo! <laughs> Feisty, aren't they? Feisty lads. Wait, is that another one? Okay, uh, I guess I'm... Wait, is it drowning? Can I accidentally help it drown faster? In a pacifist way, maybe? In a pacifist way, though. I think it's stuck. Oh, fuck the spider. Um, there probably is nothing actually down there, realistically. I don't imagine there is much to see at the end of that path, because it would just be a, a white pearl. I was mostly just curious to see what that room looked like, with the waterfall in it. Oh! What? What's happening? 
The drop wigs seem like less able to kill me as Saint than as the other slug cats. I don't fucking get it. Uh, no, I did come through here as Rivulet, but I didn't recognize the area. And also most of the time I spent here was as Artificer. Wait, how did I get out of here as Rivulet? What the fuck? I think I have to go past this guy. Can I, uh, can I come through? Let me pass, please. Thank you, yes, yes, peace and love. Slurp. Uh, alright. Welcome to scenic garbage waste. I love it. Uh, the flying centipedes are back for some fucking reason. The leeches are still alive in the glacial pool. Oh, another knot. I thought I saw a leech, but apparently there wasn't one. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's just vultures fighting giant centipedes. Classic rain world. Why do I have a spear? Eh. Was that a scav or a white lizard? Why is that here? Who the fuck invited the Miros vulture? That is a strawberry lizard. I think that's the real hazard of strawberry lizards, is that they camouflage as fucking scavengers. Oh my god, the tunnel. Yikes. I'm gonna try to bite bait it through. That's not good. That's not what what the fuck came through the pipe? What was that white flash? You know what? You know what? They're leaving. I can eat the fucking bubble fruit. Fuck both of you. Oh, it's a leech. There were leeches! How the fuck are there leeches here? It's fucking freezing! I still want my fruit, goddammit. I am slowly freezing to death. No. Just come on, hurry up. Oh, that was smooth. That's smooth. Oh! Fucking world record movement. Moisturize, come on. I didn't even need that. Okay, I need to jump over this guy. And he's not moving any further. The vulture will eat him? Yes, nice. You love to see it. Okay. There's a... Isn't the shelter up here? Yes, I remembered. Okay, perfect. I remembered that specifically because I missed it a couple of times in uh, some playthrough. I think that was Survivor again. Audio is gone? I think that was just one dude. One person experienced that. Alright, big win. Gluttony achieved. I'm feeling plump. I'm feeling well fed. And I got a free fruit. There's something really thrilling about risking your life for fruit. It's the life of the true vegetarian. I want to see the centipede versus uh, bees. Does it work? It's doing something. It's like attaching ropes to another rope. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I'm impressed by how well the game models that interaction. <laughs> My homies risked their life for a fruit, too. Yep. We've done it. We found a way to make it gay. Ooh, a pearl. For the uh, scabs, I mean moon. Blue bow pearl. Plan A is to get uh, smashed on the shrooms and run through the checkpoint. Plan B is to give them the pearl. I've become a fucking ninja. 
Oh, there's two pearls. I can just give them one in advance and come back with the real pearl. Does that work? Or no, you just eat the mushroom in advance. There we go. Turbo psilocybin fueled pole climbing. Look at me go. This is high octane. Oh, it's not even the checkpoint. I could probably grapple the ceiling. It would be funny to try to get through here without paying, but I don't know if it'd be worth it. Maybe I'll do both. Best of both worlds. Like, give them the pearl and then also bypass the checkpoint completely. Okay, I gave them the pearl and then they killed me anyway. Even cooler. Now I'm invested in getting through without paying. I'm going to evade taxes. I think I could do it with the mushroom, and if that one guy wasn't in such a an unfortunate position, I think it would be doable. This is why companies like Adobe have all these people pirating them. It's because like even if you play by the rules, they'll still find a way to fuck you over. It's always moral to evade scavenger checkpoints. Okay, let's go. to eat it. Alright. <laughs> Let's fucking go, lads. Huffing paint thinner makes you invincible. Uh-oh. Look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out! I didn't have much of a plan to get past the caramel lizard, but I got past the checkpoint. I'm gonna do that again. That's way more entertaining than doing it the, act uh, the intended way. I need three karma? Shit. Uh... Whatever, I'll figure it out. Warning, now entering sex karma. No return is possible. Oh, I ate the mushroom instead. Oops. Um, I can go back for another mushroom. Nom. Damn, you ever get high-end shrooms just to enjoy your fruit more? Is that a relatable experience? Saint's karma to libido will make him invincible to spears. I'm fucking invincible. Oh. Wait, the centipede wants to share my stash. That's mine. Get out. I'm now engaging in Rain World roleplay with the centipede. Uh, and the strawberry lizard is here. Actually, that's the best place for it to go because I can avoid it. Actually, well, it wasn't where I thought it was, but that worked anyway.
All right. Now we're cooking with gas. Ready to bypass the checkpoint. Gl glory to our Stotska. Go. Hesitation is defeat, Sekiro. I'm kind of fucking it up. I got it. Yeah, no caramel. I wonder how far they chase me. Oh, fuck the caramels here. I think he's stuck. He's in the kiddie pool. He's having a bath. Okay, he's chill, I guess. There was another pearl on the other side, anyway. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Um, okay, lots of food here to farm up karma, so that's good. I'm gonna need it. Actually, no, I won't really. You missed the green ones? They evolved into caramels, it's fine. You just beat Ishin yesterday. Congratulations. Genichiro, his first and third phase were easy, the second phase messed me up. Yeah, the third phase is easier, arguably, because you can exploit the lightning encounters. Um, the second phase is probably the hardest. So it's fucking hard to read up uh, whole arm attacks. It's like, where the fuck's the hitbox, Ishin? Where's the parry window? You're just swinging a pole around. Nom nom. What happened to pinks? I haven't seen one in a while. Evil spider. Multiple evil spiders. Oh god. I didn't think there'd be so many. What the fuck is this room? It's horrible now. It's horrible. Why did I come back here? Let me out! Okay, where did the pearl go anyway? Was it in the shelter? Okay, I have enough food. It's fine. Just go through the gate. Pink devolved into strawberries. Oh, you did Yashariku sugar. That's what the speedrunners do. Must be kind of good. Another shelter, just for fun. I might as well use it. Um, can I pile stuff in here before I sleep? I guess I can't really take much of that fruit with me. Yeah, it's whatever. That's true. If species evolved between Rivulet and Saint, then a lot of time has passed. Like, that's not even hundreds of years, that's like 10,000 years kind of thing. Mel left for three hours. Uh, we were in the garbage wastes. Rapidly heading for, uh, I guess, Moon at this point? I'm trying to get the blue bow to give her a white pearl because there's no colored pearls in this world. I also evaded taxes while getting high on mushrooms. It was very funny. I 
I just snorted a line of coke off the dashboard and drove through the, the checkpoint with my Cadillac Escalade. Were you sure for the part where you tried to access Pebbles from the chimney canopy mill? It turns out that Pebbles is no longer there, uh, in a traditional sense. Pebbles is missing. This looks kind of chilly. Is my heat going down here? It is. Yeah, rapidly going down. Is that a leviathan, by the way? No, it's the big jelly. Interesting. Will you protect me from the, uh, can I jump on top of you? Huh? Kinda works. They're kinda scary, actually. A leech is also eating me now. It sucks. Yeah, I, uh, I ate the lantern as I was instructed to. Well, there's always time to uh, pop some popcorn in the frigid hypothermia water. Uh, did that go off screen? Oh shit. I thought it would bounce off the invisible wall. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> oh my god, the song is called The Vast Unlife? That's metal, that's like a fucking Homestuck song title. Atomic Ebonpire. Oh, so the, uh... My fruit can go over there, but I can't follow it, that's fine. Life's a bit different because of obvious reasons, well yeah. He kind of turned off five pebbles, who was the only thing keeping the region warm with his breath, I believe, and now it's all frozen to fucking back. Oh, I know this room, though. Once you get to, uh, the underground and shoreline, everything kind of looks the same. All the iterators are making the rain? Yeah, but it seems to be localized, like, because in the outer expanse, apparently there's less intense rainfall, so it's, it's like, um, immediately below the iterators is where you get the, the crazy rainstorms, and then, like, outside their influence is just normal rain again, so. I think Pebbles being dead could affect at least the local atmosphere? I'm not really sure. Unless that implies that all the iterators are now, like, unfunctional. Which could be the case, they were all heading the same direction. If this really is like five or ten thousand years in the future, who knows? In a Spearmaster broadcast, some iterators revealed that rain is the, the only source of heat the planet had. Well, I think that's mostly because, um... I assume that before they had iterators, the planet would have been cold. Just like a generally cold planet. But then once the iterators started pumping the sky full of water vapor, that would have acted as like a... an insulator, basically, and blocked out the sunlight. I don't know if that actually works. I mean, maybe it would have been the greenhouse effect instead. I actually don't know, but... It seems like the the heat from the rain definitely would... Uh, I don't like that. Yep, alright. Bye-bye. I don't want to be on the same screen as that. It is a greenhouse gas. So water vapor should have made it... Yeah, hotter, I guess. That's interesting. I don't know. Physics. Oh, the sea god is still here, that's cool. 
What are those things, though? The fuck are those? I cannot tell. Can I, can I grab one? Wait, this is a slime mold. What the fuck? That's vegan. I can eat those. I have. No, I can't even tell what I'm looking at. What? What are these? That's so fucking weird. Please get up. I hope those weren't important. That's not a jellyfish, it's just a slime mold. It's a fungus. Maybe. Actually, I, I don't think slime molds are really... Uh, um, concretely categorized in terms of like what the fuck they are. They're kind of uh, outliers. It came from a jellyfish? Is that just like jellyfish shit? I don't know. Oh, this, these green things are back. I don't want those. They're kind of yucky. Oh, the jelly, the giant jellyfish, when they die, explode into that stuff. Well, that's kind of gross, but uh, whatever. Weird question. Is it vegan to eat something that, like, that died out of your control? Like, if you find a roadkill deer and you eat that, like, you're eating meat but you didn't contribute to uh, actually harming the animal in any way. That's philosophical. Because I just found a dead jellyfish, I didn't kill it. But like, is the point of veganism not eating the meat, or is the point that you're not harming animals? What's the point of not eating meat if you also, like... Veganism is typically about consent. That's what I'm getting at. Depends on the vegan. Well, I think if a vegan cares about eating meat itself as, like, an absolute act and not about harming animals, then they're kind of stupid, honestly. That's my hot take. Corpse didn't give consent? Well, corpses don't need consent. They're not living creatures. Weird conversation? That's the kind of thing we talk about while playing Rain World. Some people are vegan for health reasons. Hmm. Hmm. Does that warrant an ism? Ow. That was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. can be vegan just because you want to murder plants. I think eating beef murders a lot more plants than directly eating the plants, because the cows have to eat the plants first to make the beef. So that's not effective. Was it the middle one?
it's not a universal school. Well, obviously, but I mean, like... Like... It shouldn't be that ambiguous, I think, though. It's like... If you're, if you're gonna go through the trouble of calling something an ism, that's like a, that's like an ideology. That's not just a diet anymore. It's if, it, if it's an ism, that's like there's an ideological stance being made about this. It'd just be a bit more codified, I think. I'm being eaten by the jellyfish again. Damn it. What I'm saying is I think there needs to be more subsects of veganism, kind of like uh, Presbyterians and Methodists and Baptists and Anglicans and Catholics and, and the, the Christian Church. I just think we need greater specificity and definitely more complex nomenclature. Because if like the entire Church of Rome can splinter over such issues as like the Nicene Creed, then I, I think that the vegan community should have to address some of these points that I'm bringing up right now. The vegan Protestant Reformation, that's what I'm talking about. That should be the goal. Just in theory, I'm not vegan. Oh my god. Fight, 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 fight. Miros Vulture versus the Big Jelly, holy shit. Uh, do I want to be here? Why is it trying to come through the pipe? That's not gonna work. Okay, bye. No, 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 no. Uh, do I want to go this way? Maybe not. This looks new. This is like a new uh, tunnel that's opened up here. Yo! That is a... That's a pebbles one. Wait a minute, is this pebbles superstructure? Like, I'm not sure what this would be otherwise. I thought it was to moon already, but this is, uh, yeah, it's more worrying if this is pebbles. Uh-oh. If he has an overseer, that means he's, like, I mean, the overseers are independent, I guess. I see some of the glow. The red glow is still here. Is that a spider? Why why is there a spider here? This is a dramatic moment game. Why why put a big fucking goofy spider in the way? Like why? It's just in the way now. Like I have to get past that. Yucky. Okay. Price is averted. Oh wait, I know where this is. This is out in the uh, the underhang, isn't it? Is it the same place? Not in the food. Um, can't eat the mouse because it's alive and does not consent to being eaten. I didn't ask? Well, I can't. It doesn't speak the same language. Ooh, there's fruit up there. Okay, that'll do it. The spider, though. Fucking hell. Ah! 
Jesus Christ, the spider. It's busting my balls here. Say hi to Moon first, but but this is like the path to Moon. To leave the pearl, I'll, I'll give uh, Pebbles the pearl if he wants it. If he doesn't want it, I'll bring it back to Moon. Flirt. Flirt with pebbles. Okay. Fucking spider, man. Not spider, man. You know what I mean. Please go in the shelter where the spider eats you. Holy shit. Wait, is that not actually a shelter? Oh no, it is. It has like a really long driveway. This moist shelter works still. Goofy shelter. The shelter drawing is still there? Wait, what? I missed it. Echo detected. Wait, why am I getting the, uh, the starving warning? <laughs> It's because I'm in the same room as the shelter. That's weird. I don't see the uh, the Spearmaster's drawing here. I'm not sure where it is. There's an echo in Shoreline, yeah, apparently. Maybe it's chatting with five pebbles right now. <laughs> Who knows? Oops. Is this the path that leads to, like, just the normal entrance to five pebbles? Because I'm going to have to climb all the way back up there. Oh uh, boy. Uh, is there like an, a wall equivalent I can climb? I'm not sure. You'd think if he was falling over it'd be easier just to climb up the wall. Oh. The sauna's busted. Oh wait, it still works. What's gonna happen? I feel like I shouldn't touch that element down there. <laughs> this puppy kills you. Have fun, says chat. Woohoo. Oh, it's cold pebbles. Silent construct. Bunch of frozen rot blobs. Come on. There's still a lizard somehow. Great. Can I bypass the lizard, please? How do I get into the shelter? Fuck, I don't know what the terrain is in this room. Oh my god. Well then.
I had to check the map in that room before I could have, like, continued. What is to the right here? Is anything? Oh, no, nothing really. Oh, the lantern mice are displaced because Pebbles sat as fat ass down on the citadel. I get it. That makes sense. So you're saying to visit Moon first because she's just way closer, actually. Interesting. I kind of want to. It seems like going through five pebbles again is going to be a huge pain in the ass. I was sort of picturing that finding him would be more like Moon, but the superstructure is still, like, in the way. I think I will do that. Because I know how to get to Moon from Shoreline. And it's not far. Yeah, this is just that one T-junction, so I think Moon is quite close. Hmm. I hope Moon is uh, still, like, alive and everything. I'm not sure what the logic is. Is she worse off because she was collapsed for longer, or is she better off because she has the rarefaction cell? I don't know. Okay, this isn't so good. Looks chilly. Does moving quickly generate heat? Is that a mechanic? I have no idea. I think that swimming real fast would make you stay warm. Oh, I, I was waiting for my face to turn back to normal, but that's just how Saint looks. <laughs> I thought he was out of breath. Come on, catch your breath. You can go so much faster underwater that I'm guessing it's worth it to avoid freezing. Okay, the jellyfish is going to be in the way. There we go. Okay, the way seems to be clear so far. If it's blocked, it would have to be blocked at like the last second. Oh, the gravity's low in here. Because we put the cell in. Oh, that's cool. I wasn't expecting that. Um, 
I think I go for the second shelter. This area is still liquid and moist too. It's not even that cold in here. Even the yellow pearl is going to be uh, whitewashed. That's kind of sad in, in an abstract way. The original yellow pearl. I already have a white pearl. I brought it from the garbage wastes past the scavenger tool. When you first played this, you thought that Pebbles collapsed directly on top of Moon and was scared. If that doesn't really, yeah, make sense if you think about it too much, but it kind of seems like it. Like they're very close together horizontally. I saw like a drawing of the map, and it, it kind of astonished me how close together uh, Pebbles and Moon actually are, because it feels like you know they're. You think of two towers being built nearby. It's like okay, well, there's a. They're close together as in, like, you can see one from the other, but the iterators are so fucking wide that the gap between pebbles and moon is just, like, like a tenth of the width of the structures themselves. They're basically touching each other. The entire chimney canopy area is just, like, a small little stubby bridge that goes between them. Which makes it kind of fucked up to think about the fact that um, Moon couldn't contact Pebbles for like presumably decades or something while they're literally standing right next to each other like their, their physical bodies are basically touching but they're completely not in contact. Okay, I'm just in the ceiling now. Oh, I'm back. Blub. How's it going, Moon? Oh, she's actually doing fine. Hey, you feel it too, don't you, strange one? We've only just met, but our perceptions will soon part ways. Go on, our cycles will meet again. Uh, Moon, what do you mean? Why are you giving me the, uh, the mysticism? What is she doing? Not the cycle. Do you want the pearl? What is that? I am sorry, strange friend. There isn't much left of, on any of these. A pearl can only take so much exposure to the environment before the data inside is burned away. All that is left now is a pale white image. I can only make out single pieces of it. You could give these to the scavengers, however. Their fascination for shiny objects has probably not changed. I'm sure they will find better use in one of their collections. So they're all like that. I didn't even get white pearl dialogue after all that. Uh, okay, bye moon. Wee. Wait, what's that lead to? I just noticed that, what, what's that? Oh, what, I don't even have a mark of communication. I didn't internalize that. All the other Skugs were starting with uh, marks from their, like, iterators who dispatched them. But wait, she was talking to me. I was talking to her and I don't have a mark. That's fucking weird. I'm just that enlightened, maybe? What is the saint? I don't know what the fuck the saint even is. What if I go up here? Like, where the fuck does this lead? 
Can I just like hop on top of pebbles from Moon's back? Does that work? Maybe. Look at them wiggle. There are fun theories. I mean... If this thing doesn't have a mark, that sort of implies it wasn't made by an iterator. Unless it's something goofy like... The, the saint is an iterator? <laughs> it's like NSH put his brain in a slug cat or something fucked up like that? I don't know. That guy has wacky ideas. Um, or maybe the slug cat's society just evolved to the point where like they proactively taught themselves to speak the iterator language and become enlightened. Oh, they've still got the murals. Classic. Uh, is the metropolis open? That's a question. Smart kitty. I'm not allowed in. Damn it. You've seen a fan theory that Saint is Sliver of Straw? That's kind of wacky. Like, I didn't die, I just... I disappeared for 10,000 years and then returned as a slug cat. Uh, interesting plan there. Oh yeah, it's Luna, not Metropolis. Well, I can't go there either way. They still got the sex mural. Not all is lost. Oop. Rock. And the lad. Okay. Where does this take me again? I forget how you access the top of moon. Uh, no food. This is a pretty- oh wait, there's uh, this looks like echo territory. This is a pretty cool take on the top of the wall, though, of the blizzard. Uh, I am freezing to death, unfortunately. I hope I don't die. I think I'm close to the echo. I'm turning greener now that I'm out of the cold? Is that how it works? Yo, look who it is. You stand upon our creation. I toiled away until my final breath, as did many of us, through countless generations. Research, shipments, architecture, computations, politics, warship, revolutions. All for a heap of rusted metal steeped in a puddle of frozen water. I placed my faith into the hands of random gods. Now I must endure it to the end. That's not a nice thing to say about Bluebo. Did I unlock two more karma? Or is that- did I get one from talking to Moon? I forget. That was the title drop. Well, no, that's the OST drop, really, but... Oh, the first upgrade after 5 arbitrarily gives 2 and 3 past that, okay. Wait, now I can talk to Moon? Is that all she meant? I didn't have to go to Pebbles and get the mark? Or I guess, no, Pebbles couldn't give me the mark. Because he's even more decrepit than Moon right now. And I also don't need the mark anyway. Confusing.
He went back. Hello. You can understand me, can't you? What an unusual being you are. By what mechanism have you achieved such attunement? I meditate. Look at that face. It has been a while since I had a life form like you stumble into my chamber. While I am relieved that some of your species have managed to persist even now, I don't envy your situation. Hopefully you can find an escape to your suffering. Until then, I'll be here if my company brings you comfort. Bluebow's so nice. Not much to say beyond that, though. There's no quest to go on. Oh, wait, look, it's the hunter. Hey, hunter. What do you think she's doing here? Is she still working on the fucking problem with her neurons and shit? Is that what the green sparks are? Maintaining the box. I should come back again. I mean, like after sleeping. Look at my cool trick, Moon. Oh, I didn't mean to. I'm stuck in your roof, Moon. Oh, no, here I am. Uh, she's playing the bongos. I'm not distracting, am I? I've told you about this one, little creature. I'm sorry, strange friend. There isn't much left of any of these. Oh, did I drop the pearl when I was flying around? I didn't mean to give it to you again. This is a vibe, though, just dangling from the ceiling with moon. No. <laughs> I can give her a hug. Uh, I don't even want to know what the fuck the saint dialogue is for eating her neurons or trying to. I'm not finding out. I'm becoming yellow. Uh, I'm not actually freezing to death quite yet. Visit her again after something happens. All right, found advice. We. Oui. Uh, it's got me. Ow. No fucking way. It killed me. <laughs> it killed me, like, instantly. <laughs> Jesus. That- <laughs> they almost never sting you. Well, that's something. Back to Blue Boat. She doesn't want the pearl. Does that decanonize the conversation we had? Let's find out. Hello, I am back. Hello. You can understand me, can't you? What an unusual being you are. By what mechanism have you achieved such attunement? It's the same conversation. I'm afraid if I don't recanonize it, I'm not going to get the follow up conversation, though. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. We. Oui. 
Moon isn't real. She's super real. Where's Ruffles right now? I think Ruffles died 5,000 years ago. Alright, see you later, Moon. I'm gonna go uh, pay a visit to Pebsy. Uh, see how dead he is. The fact that Moon doesn't say anything about Pebbles makes me think, uh, like, if she either knows how he is and knows that I can't do anything about it, or she assumes that he's dead, otherwise she would, like, ask, can you go see how Pebbles is doing? It's a bit worrying, actually, that she, that she doesn't even mention him. Okay, this time I just have to not uh, kill myself. The bubble zone. The overseers. Yeah, we did see a Pebbles overseer, so I, I don't think he's actually dead, but... I just don't why I just don't know why Moon. Usually when you meet the iterators, they're all about like they want you to do shit with the other iterators. Oh he can actually jump up there. She's sinking her little dudes to the Wi-Fi. Maybe. Oh, I should have tested if the jellyfish are vegan or not? That's actually the the absolute truth, is that Saint is a built-in biological sensor for the true definition of veganism. So if he, like, vomits after eating this, then it's not vegan. Oh, wait. No, he's full. We'll never know. What a shame. Oh, true, he eats the pupa, so... Well, maybe that just means that pupa are canonically vegan. They just are. I'm gonna go back to the earlier shelter, because I can. Bring a jellyfish to use as a stun gun? But wouldn't that kill the jellyfish? That would be just as bad as eating it. He's not vegan, he just thinks that meat is disgusting. <laughs> the true answer. Oh. Wait, where was the shelter I was thinking of? Did I pass it? I think I passed it. The shelters are so close together in Moon's complex here, it's kind of confusing. There it is. I'm sure the jellyfish is having a great time. said that the jellyfish was the most enlightened animal, so it just makes sense to have one on your person at all times. Oh, I got a passage. You know, I could use that. I could go back to Pebbles, and then I could passage back to Moon afterward. That could be a good use of that.
you can't passage a saint at all? Why is saint so weird? Why is saint such a weirdo? Weird bow. The tentacles are trying to render frantically. You know, it's a real game when you have someone on the team who's like the tentacle rendering technician. Chief tentacle engineer. That's a... Is the big jellyfish aggro on me? Because I, I have its uh, baby. Is that how it works? Wait, the leviathan can fight the jellyfish. That would be cool. Uh, wait. I think the jellyfish stunned me. Like I went back underwater with it and then it came back to life. Is that how it works? It felt like I got stunned there. Jesus, Pidge. I'm gonna elect not to read that one. I ran out of air? Oh, maybe. That could also be it. It might be some leftover uh, brain rot from playing as Rivulet, where you have a lot more air. I don't know. It just kind of clicked for me that Saint is literally making the, uh, the Frisk face. They have the same face. It's that stoic pacifist look. The pacifist stare. foods. Wait, I can test if the jellyfish is vegan now, once and for all. It's not vegan. How does that work? Because you can unlock the saint passage. No, you can unlock the monk while eating jellyfish, but the saint can't eat the jellyfish, which I guess the saint is not the monk, but... Weird. We we're getting attached to it. I had to know the quest the answer to the question. We we've been debating this like I think every campaign so far, every time you go through there. Does is jellyfish vegan? And this is like the canonical answer, and no, they're not vegan. They never were. They're only not vegan for monks. See, we're back to the different sects where we have like splinter cells. Of veganism now. The monk and the saint abide by different rules. Hey, wouldn't it be a funny joke to go to submerged superstructure? I think that would be a funny gag. Uh, the leeches are here, by the way. Uh-oh. Why, why can they come in here? There's an echo there? Are you fucking kidding? Do I- I don't need to go to that echo, do I? I don't think I'm going to do that. That area didn't strike me as even, like, possible to navigate, except as Rivulet. Maybe it is, but it- I don't really want to think about how you do it. Come on, the sinus sinusoidal oscillations have to quiet down for a sec. 
Okay, we have a new jellyfish to replace the one that died. I'm not going to eat this one to determine whether its flesh is actually made of flesh. Doo doo doo. Okay, so back to the pebbles grind, it sounds like. That's going to be a pain. The blizzard, though. Come on. Is it this one? Maybe. Uh, did I come through here? I think I did. I think this is the same path. If I get to the T-junction, then I just go up. Which is here, yeah. No, this is the second one with the fruit. I want the, the other T-junction. There was a shelter? I, I, yeah, I know, I deliberately, uh, I'm just going to go back to Pebbles. I think I have time. That shelter's not really much closer than the one I was previously at. And I have a jellyfish now. <laughs> For fun and profit. You can throw these at things and it fucks them up, I think. That's the idea. And it has the hilarious side effect of having a jellyfish tentacles spasming around you at all times. Jellyfish. Yeah, apparently being out of the water doesn't kill them, because I, I had that one like overnight, and I think it still worked, but maybe that was also just... I misinterpreted what happened. Maybe they sting even after they're dead. I'm, I don't know how jellyfish work. Well, actually, I do. They have special cells on their tentacles called something or other that shoot needles out when touched, but I don't know if they require the, the jellyfish to be alive. This had a spider blocking it previously, but it's gone. Nice. Yeah, they don't need to be alive, says Chant, who has been stung by a dead jellyfish. Jellyfish are so barely alive in the first place that it would be quite surprising if they needed, like, central nervous system function to make the tentacles go, because I don't think they really have central nervous systems in the first place. Jellyfish only have calm systems. They're never nervous. Rest the shelter after the gate. Uh, yeah, probably. Probably I should. Wait, is there one right after the gate? I don't remember. Maybe there was. I hope the spider doesn't get me. Yeah, there's a blue lizard. Well, I'll know not to uh, underestimate the blue lizard. I still have the jellyfish. Funny spot for a drop wig. Just saying.
Yo, the mouse can be in the sauna with me. I've never seen that happen before. It is time for sound, mouse. No one wants to be a crab in their next life. Well, I wish you luck in achieving that. They look like they don't think. They, they don't very much, I'm pretty sure. I think their intelligence is brutally low. Uh, yeah, the sauna colored me back in. Okay, there was a shelter right here. Did I not rest at that earlier? Or maybe I did. Oh wait, no, don't eat the jellyfish, eat the flower. There you go. Slurp. Okay, good. Oh, I died to the blue before I could... Oh yeah, right, I couldn't interpret the environment. I couldn't figure out how to get into the shelter in time. Okay, now I'm safe. Don't crabs have to molt in this horrifying process? Do, do all crabs do that or just some... I've seen a video of like a crab molting and it like... It has to like pull its fleshy meat legs out of its skeleton legs in a way that really looks like it's just dying. That's everything that molts. How many things molt, really? I guess, uh, insects? It looked like it was cutting itself in half. It was pretty gross. I didn't like it. Um. Whoop. Ooh. Big, empty room. Oh, I know this room. It was less empty when I checked before. Even the poles are just illusions now. Damn. Why are there mice in here? I guess five pebbles fell on them so hard the mice just got like clipped up through the floor into his superstructure. Okay, that's a cool screen transition. How much of this is edible? Wait, don't eat the- no, I ate the jellyfish. Fuck. I took a bite out of the- if you're holding two things and one of them you don't want to eat, then why wouldn't you eat the thing that you want to eat? All I'm saying, Saint, is like... You didn't have to do that. Mike 2 is dead. Shit. It's just like that time I took a bite out of Moon's Neuron while bringing it back to her and I think I didn't finish eating it so it was still usable. You stumbled upon a crab or lobster TikTok where they remove barnacles off them. And now half my For You page is crabs being chill. That'll happen. Never watch videos of animals doing cute things otherwise the internet, the powers that be, Mark Zuckerberg and stuff, will dictate that you will see nothing but videos of animals doing cute things uh, for as long as you live. This is a dead end. Okay, where's the map? This blue lizard is so fucking powerful because I cannot see where the terrain is and it just knows. It's programmed to know already. There we go. I figured it out. Is that such a bad thing? It is, because you get into like the weirdo channels, you're like, they're pulling puppies out of mud pits all day, and you're like, how many puppies are you finding in mud pits? Are you putting them in there yourself? Animal lover content can get kind of fucking weird. Uh, 
There's the hole. Okay. <laughs> of course, Rain World. The only game where th you see this screen, right? And you're like, okay, how do you go forward? And it's like, okay, maybe it's the big tunnel with the light coming out and the wind blowing in. No, that's an invisible wall. <laughs> What you want to do is you want to scrape your head along the floor in that kind of dent there until an invisible passage reveals itself and you can fall through the ground into a pipe. Wait, but this is just the other side of that tunnel I saw anyway. It's also an invisible wall. I think they're just pranking me at this point. We Oh, what the fuck is this area? This is a new zone. You had to stop watching the snake breeding YouTube because they were getting weird. Yeah, you see what I mean? It doesn't take too much thought to figure out how the snake breeding YouTube might get kind of weird. Um, that being said, you've made me realize I, I really can't picture how two snakes would, like, fuck. How do they do that? Now that's in your head. Why not? I mean... I'm just wondering, like, how... They're very smooth. Like, there's no visible orifices or protuberances on a snake. It's like... Are they retractable? I guess so. The medical sign of the two coiling snakes, that's them fucking? Are you... Is that real, or are you just, like, having a lark here? I have no idea. It's called the Snussy. <laughs> Fucking hell. Snusk. This is a Snusk scream now. Ever played XCOM 2? Do you learn the answer to this question in XCOM 2? What the fuck happened in XCOM 2? They don't show the snakes fucking, huh? Oh wait, this is that room. I know this room. This is the leg. Now I'm confused. I was in pebbles and now I've gone up to the leg again. That's very confusing. There are snake aliens in XCOM. People are weird about them. Well, that's... I can imagine how that would go, but... The way you phrased it, it sounded like... The, the answer would be apparent if I had even played the game. Am I getting chilly? No, it seems kind of warm in here, actually. And the gravity is kind of low. You fall to the left, so the right leg is still standing. Wacky. Yeah, I guess iterators, they're much wider than they are tall, so they don't, they don't really fall over like a tower would. They would just sort of, like, collapse. They would fall down. The echoes warm you up? Fucking maybe, with the warmth of their spiritual aura. The echoes aren't even, like, enlightened, though. They're the failure, their failure to become enlightened and leave the mortal plane. They're, uh... If anything, they're more like demons or ghosts than they are um, some sort of angel. Which is interesting, considering they do raise your, your karma cap. Or maybe being a, a Buddha ghost gives you perspective on enlightenment that is still valuable to the mortals.
Uh, yeah, I'm not very cold at all. This is a cool room. Yo. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, it feels like there should be an echo hovering right about there, but I don't see one. Oh, there it is. Jesus. Hey there. Our presence has been revealed to you now, young one. The attunement has become much nearer. Like a ripple distorted upon a moonlit reflection. Repetitious, seemingly endless strife. An unimaginable curse. Swim with the tide or against it. New karma. Wait, is that um, three and four in the second half? Or uh, eight and nine, rather? Only two more echoes to go, huh? Is that six grains of gravel, mountains abound? Oh, I guess he would have fallen down here, interesting. Yeah, he's the one on top of pebbles. I still have this fucking jellyfish somehow. Didn't I eat this? Or no, the, the echo rewound time, so the jellyfish is alive again, by which I mean it's still dead, but I have it. What a curious outcome. Um, so I guess Pebbles was some other direction, is the bottom line of all that. This dialogue mirrors the original. Wasn't the original just about, like, um, this existence can fade like dew under the morning sun, we found a way? I'd have to reread it to see what the connection was. It's kind of hard to, um, like, read text and parse the meaning, like, aloud. If re reading something aloud and parsing the meaning, they're a bit contradictory to me. Not completely, but, like, um, I'll often find if I, if I read something aloud, like, I'll miss a lot of the details or implications that I would have gotten otherwise. Um, in a live stream context specifically, I don't spend a lot of time otherwise reading things aloud. Pebbles crushed four needles plentiful leaves. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. It was... Uh... <laughs> With that in mind, Pid, you can imagine the experience of reading uh, some of those Azzy Pants fix. Or, uh, like, six hours straight. Oh boy. Some lines in Dicko, Dicko Elysium? I want to have fuck with you. Dicko Elysium. Uh, we're better with that voice line, says chat. Uh, perhaps. I played it without the final cut. But, um, I haven't played it myself with the final cut. I think potentially, well, I can't really talk about that. The, the encounter at the very end of the game. Why the fuck are you here? I guess it's the memory crypts, but you weren't here before. Like, what's the deal? Oh, fuck. Retract. Okay. Yikes. Um, at the end of the game, I can see that one encounter being weird with voice lines, like, uh, that feels like such a, a personal moment, you just want to kind of soak it in. But Lenval Brown is, like, a pretty amazing for most of that game, at least. There was one before? Oh, I just didn't notice it? 
This is a dead end. Oh. That's just the, the echo. Okay. Um... I'm just holding on to the jellyfish. You can go up there? Oh my god. I didn't know that was uh, an option. Jesus Christ. Uh, what do I do about this? Die. That's what you do. You die. Wait, it was out in front of communicate. Wait, oh, it's in your last two messages are just, uh, and then whatever I'm going to sleep. I'm not sure what the context for that is. There's two paths, by the way. No, the, uh, the left was where I came from. Never mind. Bye-bye, Oatsin. Warp up through here. Why the fuck are you doing here? Uh, can I? No. Oh, there we go. Be very careful not to eat the jellyfish. I ate the jellyfish. God damn it! I don't. I was looking at chat for a sec. I must have kept eating. Oh well. Mike has died twice now. Very sad for Mike. The most lethal uh, substance to jellyfish is orange slime molds because it causes the slug cat holding them to uh, forget what it's doing and uh, put it in their mouth. No. 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 Fucking hell, this lizard. Is it gonna come through the pipe? It's the secret path. I hate that. Yo, yeah, go, go, go. I can't believe I didn't notice these guys before. Like, I had no idea that they were part of this. You thought of something? Good job. Uh, just, uh, oh, it can reach. Damn it. Okay, this was easier before it started spawning Miro's vultures. Mike's back. <laughs> Mike's back. Mike is trapped in a cycle. A repeating pattern. I know what way to go. I, I just haven't gotten through the pipe that's actually new yet. The Miro's vultures are in the way now. Or not even Miro's vultures, just normal birds. The Miro's chickens. Okay, we're gonna take a new measure this time and put down the jellyfish and then eat the slime. Okay, Mike is not dead. He did it. No, most not this way. You're gonna get us killed. I 
deploy the mic. Oh, I forgot that Mike had a utility. I thought we were just carrying him around for fun. <laughs> I wonder if Mike would help against the Miros birds. Would there be any effect? That's sort of the gameplay of Rain World is like carrying objects of dubious utility over long distances of extremely dangerous terrain. Wait, there's a blue lizard? I threw Mike and it didn't even help. Strand type gameplay, exactly. Exactly. It's been six hours? Yeah, yep. Yep, we've been doing things here for a while. Climbing through tunnels and licking spiders. Love this game. It's all sort of blending together. The playthrough really kicks off once you find five pebbles. That, that remains true. Um, it's- I got through here so many times so easily without even trying, and now that I actually know where to go, I'm being continually stymied. Where's that lizard going? They've got two lizards now, what the fuck? It's all blended together like five pebbles in Shaded Citadel, exactly. Uh, where is that one going? You can't see me, can you? Nope. Perfect. You want to see Saint and Mike and bad CGI? Are you talking about like the, the cinematic adaptation of, of the Saint carrying a jellyfish through the ruins of a computer god? The, the Illuminations? movie. So I can go in here and I'm safe. But when can I proceed if not already? Oh, is this the way forward? Not quite. There's the pole. I found it. You can't even see the entrance to that pipe. That's fucked up. And there's an evil spider. Great. Uh, hello, evil spider. Don't kill me. Mike. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus. After you throw the jellyfish, it damages you. Uh, I'm not dead yet. I have noticed. I might still survive. Uh, no, never mind. I'm back down to five karma. Mike is back. The run back is like getting longer every time. Uh, no, I don't want to go that way. 
I want to eat my mold first. Aren't you glad you reset after the gate? Oh, rested after the gate? Yes. Yes, I am. When two shelters are that close together, it's it's usually worth pushing for the one after the gate, because that's like a, a solid 20 seconds of transition time every time. It contributes to the molding. You hear they got seven red suns. It's a bit ironic to name the thing after the sun when it's actively blocking it out. I, I don't just mean five pebbles either, like all the iterators collectively are exhaling so much steam that they make the sun inaccessible. Okay, well he's in the way. Uh, even if I throw a mic and it hits the lizard, I can't get past it because it's blocking the tube. There we go. Okay, fingers crossed for no Miros vultures. They can spawn here, apparently. Where is it? I heard it. The bird. Oh, now, now it's here. Now it's here. Okay. Why is that one scarier looking? It's like a super Miros bird. Eviler. Alright, back to making progress. This spider is going to be a fucking problem because it has a ranged attack. This is a weird room to get around. Uh, it's above me, so I can't really throw at it easily, even. See how fucking... Maybe I can kite it through the pipe? Maybe? Can it even come through the pipe? Oh, there it goes. Okay. That's what you gotta do. Oh, no, not even that works, maybe. Go. Fuck. No, the jellyfish. I threw it in the wrong direction. No. Am I alive? Am I dead? What? I think I'm asleep. There's another spider also waiting there. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Let me out. Let me out. You can see like one pixel of my head going, what the fuck? No, wait, a am I free? I'm asleep. Am I not dead yet? What is this room, by the way? Like, what the fuck is going on with this room? Uh, $10 from Afe Metachar Sailor Enthusiast. I gotta head to bed, but I have a question before I go. What is your favorite Pokemon? If you don't know, then provide a detailed explanations of your opinion on olives. Um, yeah, I don't really... Do I have a favorite Pokemon? I feel like I, I've played one Pokemon game. I was never really into Pokemon, but, uh, I played Diamond when I was a kid. And, um... I don't think that game even had the Reggies in it. I think I I traded it to some other dude I knew in school who had like more Pokemon. But um I think my brothers and I were like we were into Pokemon maybe as a concept, but we didn't really play the games. I think we had some sort of like book we got from the Scholastic Book Fair. Um which was like the a Pokédex of some sort, then we we would read that, but all that is to say, I think I liked a Reggie Gigas. I was I was a Reggie Gigas fan, and I managed to obtain one in Pokemon Diamond somehow from. I think it was just this dude I knew who probably like hacked it in or something. Um. Aside from that. I chose a Piplup as my starter in diamonds. Good night. This fucking lizard.
finally. Mike serves his purpose. The mouse is blocking me. Fuck. We finally got Mike to do something. Mel's also just played one Pokemon game. The creatures are neat. Yeah. Um, me and my brothers had a thing where we would just like... We would like draw more of... I think Pokemon is one of them. We, we would like draw new Pokemons, but also it was... um. This somehow wraps back around to fucking epic battle fantasy. It really was one of my childhood formative games. Like, we would draw new, like, epic battle fantasy monsters and swords and stuff and, like, notebooks. Um, as well as, as Pokemon, so, like, that's why I talk about those, that game so much. It was always just in ballpoint pen, too. Uh, I never had any further aspirations as an artist. I would just, like, make sketches of things in, in black pen on, like, lined paper. Okay, the fucking spider just camps here. It never moves. It can hit you from anywhere. I hate this spider. How do you get past it? The Trank Dart is still affecting me. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Even if you get away from the spider, you can't get away from the spider. That puts you to sleep for like 10 minutes. There's another one. They just spawn a second one. You want to see my sketches? They're in like probably a, some, like a, a tote bin somewhere. Just like a stacks of loose paper those are like three a triple colored neapolitan spider fight i don't want any part of that it's like an rgb gamer spider uh check the map yeah this room sucks you just you look at it and it sucks I think the only actual path is the bottom? Yeah, which is where the spider clusterfuck is. Um, this is shit. What do I do about this? I can't see the terrain. There's three spiders in the way. And there's no other path. Most of this room is just like dead ends that have nothing to do with the actual path. Okay, the spider's all left, and I can proceed. Wonderful. Wait, I don't even want to go up there. It's pointless. No! Oh, man. When is the next shelter in here? I wonder if more kids these days who are very casual artists, if like, if it's more normal for art to get saved on the internet now because it's so easy to put stuff to DeviantArt. Like I never considered posting any of my art to the internet. It was, it was barely art. It was just, it was more like a technical diagram if I had to describe it. Like the the goal wasn't to create something that was like aesthetically pleasing. It was to create like, like a diagram of something that I had imagined. It wasn't really supposed to look nice. I don't know, do young kids get gra uh, drawing tablets these days? They draw in like MS Paint with a mouse. Going up in the room with the spitter spider. Was there another path? I, I don't remember there being another path, but I'll try. Blue lizards are being auspicious for now. Eating the mice. Bye bye, palm tree dude in chat.
Artists now have a lot more resources and tutorials. Seems some uh, extremely talented young artist online. Huh, that interesting that is actually uh, some kind of societal trend. Is that a vulture noise or something else? Or uh, a Miros bird? Oh, it's a blue lizard. What the fuck are you doing here? You're gonna get eaten by the Miros bird. That tunnel's a dead end, by the way. Kids can relate to drawing the diagrams and concepts. I think you've progressed a bit further as an artist than I did, Pidge, seeing your uh, Azzy Pants creations. Oh, you can just go straight up the hole. Yeah. When you were young, the best free choice was GIMP. That's still what I use. <laughs> I use GIMP because that's what they taught in my uh, my high school's like IT course. They, d they didn't make us pay for Photoshop. They just like learned GIMP. Uh, and I did, and I just, I'm used to it. It works fine. It's janky in some ways, but I've never used anything better, so I can't complain. I literally can't, because I don't know what I'm missing. <laughs> Is, how do I... Does this lead anywhere? <laughs> okay, I guess not. You can go up more? Oh, fucking hell. How am I? Oh, I used my tongue instead of doing the the pipe boost. I just got stuck. Do I have a lamp? Yes. It's in my stomach. Are you saying I should take the lamp out of my stomach to actually use? Oh, I ate the jellyfish because I was holding down the button to regurgitate the lamp. Fuck. <laughs> There's a lot of things that can kill the jellyfish. Okay, I think the lamp's actually going to help here. I forgot that I had that. You use GIMP for most everything, or Inkscape for vector stuff. Yeah, I've never tried vector. Usually, I, I need GIMP a lot for just um, slapping together video assets, or removing backgrounds, or making thumbnails. Again, none of it's really art. It's it's image processing. It's it's a different sort of use case. So that's what it's. I think it's all right for. I have no idea what it's like to actually try to draw something in GIMP. You used a Microsoft Publisher. I've never even heard of that. I get the impression that GIMP is like a, a Linux-ass piece of software. I don't know if it's literally somehow related to Linux, but it, it has the vibe. Of what do you mean you need a tool for that? You can do it with 17 menu inputs. It came from Linux, yeah, okay. It checks out. What did I- I grappled the spider, are you kidding me? The spider was in the way. Okay, which I guess means the spider's gonna be here this time? Nope, it's just gone, it's somewhere else. Cool, it's- it's on vacation. I'll take it.
Oh yeah, it stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. That is right. Is I, honestly, I didn't even know that GNU was Linux. Isn't the joke that GNU stands for GNU's not Linux? No, that's GNL. Uh, Unix. I'm thinking of Unix. Okay, I don't know, know what the fuck I'm talking about. Why is there a vulture here? I'm going in. Bye bye. I'm going to the spider zone because there's no vulture in the way. Why not go left? Because I went there last time, then people told me to go right. Uh, there's a spider in the way. I think I'll try going back out because I don't want to be here. What does the K in Chris stand for? Wait, I forgot this. This was like some sort of brain rot thing on the server, but I've, I've literally forgotten what the joke was. Oh, wait, there's nothing to indicate that the screen here scrolls. That's such a pain in the ass. Okay. Is there any point to being here? Is this even a valid path? Oh my god, it is. This is like a secret entrance. Saint Sophus. I'm on the top now, I think, maybe? This is sort of like how I got on top of Moon, but I don't know what the equivalentarian five pebbles is like. Uh, how the fuck... Where do I go from here? Just keep ascending? You can't go any higher. What you can! I totally thought that was an invisible wall. Holy shit. This is fucked up. This feels like I'm doing something unintended. Can I grapple that? It seems almost possible to grapple that pole. Ugh! It's hard to describe how difficult this is to get over. Um... Yeah, this it feels like getting over it. You're kind of right. Uh, can I? No, that's nothing. That's literally nothing. So I have to go up somehow. How the fuck do I get over there? Oh, there's like a a very tight angle maybe. Uh. I it it hit the pole. You saw it, right? My tongue hit that pole, but it did nothing. I'm not meant to make that. What what do I make then? I can't go to the left. Where am I? Wait, what? Like, here? I can almost reach that. Backflip from- oh, you want me to do backflip storage on the pole? Alright chat, explain to me via the medium of the YouTube chat how to do backflip storage, and I'll try that. Ugh. It's a dead end from the side. Well, why am I here? I did get my tongue to touch that pole for a second though, that was encouraging. You see it touches it. You can backflip off poles, but it's tech. Capital T tech. You first, you run to the pole, and then before climbing up, you quickly turn the opposite direction. Then when you jump off the top, you will backflip. So you have to climb well in the turnaround animation. I did it. That was the first try. It's actually really easy. All right. Maybe we have- we're cooking with gas here? Okay, I didn't do it that time. I don't think it actually helps, because I can't- Okay, I have to do it more, I have to experiment. How fast do I freeze to death? I don't. This area is warm, apparently.
I didn't realize it would be so simple. Okay, so... I don't think it helps at all, actually, because my tongue goes in a weird direction there. I need to know, like, it, it comes down to how the tongue controls work. Because normally I have two different directions. If I hold up and right, my tongue goes up. And if I hold just right, my tongue goes diagonally. Back flipped. Oh, onto the left geometry. That could do it. I didn't backflip that time. Hmm. Uh, I don't think that was right. Maybe that one? Snowgrave is commencing. Nah. Hmm. It's hard to tell when I've gotten it or not. Maybe that? Hmm. That's a bit weird. I didn't seem to get much more height from that side. I don't think I go any higher, really. Try throwing up? You mean you mean like throwing the rock upward? Okay, well the rock's deleted now. Uh throw up does that actually push you upward? If you throw up? I I kinda doubt that would help somehow. Oh, there was the backflip. It was stored doubly. Um, no. I'm going to freeze to death if I keep trying this. I think I'm, I'm getting cold and it's actually decreasing my grip on the pole. So that we're out of time here. Damn it. Spider pits it is. What about this? No, that's nothing. Just roll down the fucking iterator. Ow. Okay, well, the, the return trip is pretty fast. Is it worm in here at least? Yes. Theoretically, I could just go back and forth between this and the, uh, the impossible jump. It's probably possible with- I know there's movement tech you can use in Rain World to get like an 8 tile jump from a standstill. Like you can do fucking ridiculous things, but um, that particular trick is like 3 frame perfect inputs or something. And I don't really want to try it. Yeah, the vault. Uh, well that's not gonna- there's the spider. Oh, that takes me to the spider, but also past the spider. I am free. I spent so long doing that that the spiders have all just wandered off. Perfect. That was the real goal. Uh, the spiders are so fast. I don't like it. Oh yeah, I know that I'm not- that's not the intended path, I was just- I thought it would be funny. This game feels like you're, you're glitching through it half the time under the best circumstances, so I don't think it's really that off-brand to try <laughs> unintended jumps. What do you want about there's leeches in the water for no apparent reason? All right. A shelter. Well, that works. Yeah, the spiders just like despawned. They got so bored of waiting that they left. 
I love Rain World. The leeches survive by eating the spiders? <laughs> Fucking hell. That's the argument to end the cycle. After all the iterators die, there'll be nothing left but spiders and leeches eating each other in an endless cycle. There's not even producer organisms anymore, it's just spiders and leeches. Joseph Anderson terrifies you. He's a terrifying guy in general. Yeah, that's true. Um, he tends to break things that he plays sort of passively. But unlike Vinnie Vinesauce, who has that same sort of ability, when Joseph Anderson breaks something, he usually continues to break it uh, maliciously for up to several hours, uh, depending on how entertained he is. <laughs> I dropped the Ah, uh, shit. I can get it back. There's a lot of fruit here. What are those little unlockable arms? What are they doing there? Like, there's so many of those arms that don't have any unlockable attached to them. I mean, that one did, but these ones don't, you know? Do I know the channel Let's Game It Out? Uh, I think I've heard of that. I don't know. I don't think I've ever watched it. Oh, can't eat the slime. We smoking fentanyl lace cereal milk slime. First green unlock? What even I can become the saint. You're too scared to watch Joseph Anderson slay the princess. I think you uh I I feel the same way. I can picture exactly how that's gonna go down, assuming the stream culture hasn't changed that much in the last couple of years. Uh, the big meme is that his chat makes everything into waifus at a continuous rate. Um, he's the guy who had like anime girl gajinka art of the quantum moon and outer wilds. Uh, oh. Alright. That was close. Bye bye. You want to go left generally. Uh, oopsie doopsie. But I wonder what's to the right though. Uh. No. How did I avoid that? Uh. Okay, the lizard is very thoroughly blocking the way. Wait, I'm back here? How the fuck did I- Wait, you can go left down this pipe the whole time I could have gone left? Are you serious? The whole time I could have just gone left. That's fucking insane. Wait a minute. This, this changes everything. <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh, can I grapple anything here? I gotta get a move on, gotta move it, move it. You can outrun the Miros birds with, with grappling, that's fucking funny. Oh no, you can't go that way. That left tunnel doesn't exist, it's not real. I'm going up here, guys, sorry. Nope, not here. You're scared to see what it'll do to it, um, in regards to Joseph Anderson's Slay the Princess. I think, um, 
I don't know. I can just picture every joke that's going to be made on stream and in my head. The joke is that it's like uh, some 38 year old dad with four kids and a wife playing the uh, date the princess monster princess visual novel game. What just happened by the way? Was I electrocuted? Did I explode? Shlorp. Spider. Immediately the evil spider. And centipede. And centipede friend. Centipede friend is here. Uh, I can go through that. Alright, if you say so. There is a red centipede, of course. Wait, I can bypass it though? No, there's a spider out of the bypass hole. Uh, and it can walk on the air. Uh, fuck me. How do I get over this? Bennett Foddy help! Okay, this will take me away from the spider at least. Where, where is this going? Oh, this looks promising. This looks, uh, pebbles -y. It's the husk. Yep. I can't believe they made a whole new version. Like, Five Pebbles is the biggest area in the game, right? And they just made, like, a new version of him every fucking campaign. <laughs> Do they really like making Five Pebbles that much? You were stuck in a cycle, level designers. I lost the lantern? Oh, I did. Yep. I have no idea how that happened. Oh, wait. There's a guy with a lantern. Anyone want to trade me for this? No. No, he's gone. You want to trade me for this uh, slop? I got slop. You want that? You like that? It's slop. It's really good. You like rocks? You want to give me a... Oh, wait, I evaded their taxes. They probably don't like me. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Not today, sir. Wait a minute. If that guy spawns in here and he's asleep, I can steal his lantern then make a run for it. Oh, yeah. That's the plan. He foolishly tried to join my shelter while the door was closing. He fell asleep first at the sleepover. We're gonna replace his spine. So I may be a pacifist, but I am a thief. Ho 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 ho. I believe in the communal redistribution of public property. Um, okay, where's the lantern though? Which one of these is the fucking lantern, man? You got too many spears. No, he woke up. He's waking up. I need that. I took it. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm making a break for it. Make a beeline. <laughs> There's a weird fucking skog. He stole my lantern. He's swinging away on a tongue. I robbed him and he deserved it. For uh, making it difficult for me to evade his taxes previously. This is proof that the most virtuous being can still be a thief and a liar. Another familiar room. Isn't this the Shaded Citadel? This is the Shaded Citadel. How the fuck did I get in here? I don't want to be in the Shaded Citadel. I want to be in Five Pebbles' brain. God damn it. Uh... Ideally, I'd find some food, then go back, so that I could save the lantern, but... Wait, what even is on the other side of the Shaded Citadel? I guess it's the same entrance, but... 
I'm just gonna go back. There's no nothing over there. Are we going quick as a flash? It's been six and a half hours. The rivulet campaign was pretty quick, but the rivulet itself is quick. Yeah, this is also the Shaded Citadel, just with the roof broken, so it's it's now back to being the true and anointed Citadel. All those angry iterators on Reddit can rest easy in their uh, void of oblivion, knowing that the fucking Citadel is no longer covered over by the apostate, whatever they call it, uh, superstructure. Apostate abomination superstructure. Oh, it was Apostate Superstructure Abomination. Never mind. It's crushed under his ass cheeks, but it's no longer overshadowed, so it's a win. Swallow the lantern, but I, I need the lantern to actually see. That's why I took it out in the first place. It's dark in here. Uh, okay, this looks new. This looks pebblesy too. Mel has a cute moth on their window. Shoutouts to that. I love a cute moth. The saint is fucking lost in this computer calculator god brain. Can I go up here? Yep. Eh. Even with the map open, you can't tell where anything is. <laughs> I've, I looked at the map, by the way. I looked at the, um, the online interactive map for the rivulet um, five pebbles map, and it's like, it's ridiculously large. It's like incomprehensibly large. Why did they make it so big? I think it's bigger than normal five pebbles. And then the submerged superstructure looked even bigger. Well, that's... Wait, can I... Oh, you can go up there. Okay, where am I now? Not the flattened citadel. Keep sucking his flat citadel. So I could go further left, or I could go up there. I'm already so far left that I'm at the shaded citadel. Uh, this seems wrong. And also there's spiders. Oh, there's spiders over here too. Fuck. Well, now what? There's a rock. Oh, the spider's gonna fight the lizard. Ideal. Don't do it. I'll kill you. Oh wait, I see the iterator. The not the iterator, the fucking overseer. There it is. And by extension the iterator. Um Yeah. Come on. Uh Is this the right way? Are you sure? Somehow I jumped over there, that's exactly what I wanted to do, but I have no idea how I achieved it. Evil spider. Vulture. Fuck. Okay, bye. 
This zone sucks. Wait, the scav is aggroed on me too. Or was the scav just trying to kill the uh, centipede or the overseer? I don't know. Hey, which door do I go through, dude? Um, there's a couple paths I can take up here. Uh, come on. How do I get in there? Here we go. We're here. I know where this is. So I must have taken the wrong path is the bottom line. I have to go back the other way. I'm not quite frozen to death yet. There's a centipede in the way. Move. Hebsy? Is this you? There's a shelter there. I'll take it. This looks like the Shaded Citadel again, though. No, don't crash. Why is it crashing? <laughs> Why would it crash now? <laughs> Nothing's happening. This happened before and it lagged for like five minutes and then it, it just killed me. <laughs> I'm floating. Pause the game. Oh, it worked. Oh, but it doesn't do anything if you unpause it. Chaos control. Inputs. No, the inputs don't work. This is known as ascension. I fell asleep. Uh, exiting isn't going to help, probably. This is a pickle. The map? No, the map doesn't work. This is um, JD's Iterator Sona, Last Inch Final Harassment. You see what it means now. Or no, Last Inch Hidden Harassment. We play the waiting game. We have to become an iterator ourselves. No game over yet. Do do do. How did this happen? I don't, nothing happened. It's the game just froze. Time for dev tools. Is there a way to access the dev tools from here? My inputs don't work except for pause. What if I get fancy? I wonder what happens. Oh no, I can't. It won't let me. Oh yeah, I can. Saint. What if I what if I make myself the Tesla Skug? Will that fix it? <laughs> Perfect. No change. Mods are enabled? It's just the uh, the cosmetic mod. It doesn't do anything besides change your appearance. It's really taken a while. They're bound to H by default? Uh, there's no effect from that. Yes, the game is frozen. <laughs> Uh, 
well. When in doubt, um, I guess I can play the piano. <laughs> You've never heard of anyone recovering from this. Uh, well, once. Well, that's an idea. Try fucking with plugging in or removing a controller. Um, what if I just plug in a controller, see if it does something? Decisively not doing anything. Oh well. It's fucked. I have to uh, exit the cycle. We are back. I'm not sure it was even that far back, to be honest. Oh wait, I can steal the scavenger's lantern more effectively, maybe? Where the fuck is your lantern, bro? Here it is. I've disarmed you, ha 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 ha. He has nothing to throw at me. Eh. Take that. Uh oh. Okay. I still have the Tesla Skug head. No. Yeah, JD made the Tesla skin. Just for fun. I'm gonna remove that though, it's not really, it looks pretty fucking bad in this context. Uh, become fancy. Santa. There we go. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to throw that one, fuck. You might have me this time. Ooh! Should have brought more spears! Yeah, how did I get where I was going last time? It was the other direction, wasn't it? Mike would have helped? Yeah. Yeah, it was back up through all that bullshit. You want to die the Saint Yellow so you can pretend that you're playing as Frisk Slugcat Sona? That's just the monk. Fuck, he's back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna brick him. If he gets close. Uh-oh. Hi. Bye-bye. Uh, suddenly a lot of scavs. I don't think they can effectively fight me in a vertical tube, though. This is silly. Are they camping? Gotta go. Ooh, not that way. Centipede. Centipede or scavenger swarm. 
The centipede is tanking for me. Holy shit. Credits to the centipede. Nope. Nope. <laughs> the saint can always find somewhere to eat. I like that about the saint. I don't need the chieftain. I don't believe in taxation. Uh, this wasn't the way, was it? It was up somehow? Uh, this might be right. As long as this goes to the roof, it's fine. Ow. Come on. The saint climbing tech? The saint's already got uh, plenty of climbing, I think. It's wackier tech. Does it involve just mashing a lot or something? Uh, gotta get up there somehow. Come on. When facing a wall, stand still and spam jump. Oh, Jesus. Well, that does something, all right. <laughs> Go in there. Nothing wackier than mashing. This is the right way. Uh, it was up through here. God damn. Uh... Yeah, that seems pretty effective. Oh my god, that made a horrible noise. Where is the roof? How far away was it? Lizard. Uh oh. Uh, where's he going? Are they stuck? Are they gonna fall? What's the deal? Uh, requires some finesse, clearly. I'm gonna freeze to death if this goes on for long enough. I'm doing it. Making my move. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Well, there's their pack hunting. go again. Oh, this fucking guy. Give me your lantern. There we go. Smash on the sky. Every time I wake up in that shelter, I get more efficient at stealing the scav's lantern.
No, this way. Yeah, holding neutral and mash and jump seems to just do it somehow. I know the path insofar as the path is to just keep moving up. There's a spider in that hole. Great. I don't want it. No, 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 no. Yo, yo, yo. Ah, if you get turned around, it'll interrupt that strategy, but. That's so fucking goofy. <laughs> I can't do it, apparently. Pacifism-powered elevator. Customers bought this item along with uh, Sunny Omori sadness-powered microwave. Come on, go in the pipe. Go in it. This feels endless. It's just like the same room over and over again. It's like morale destroying to run back through here hmm. the mashing tech doesn't always work the best These are drills, by the way? Does that mean this is more shaded citadels? Or is this just weird lore? Five pebbles got brain drills for some reason. Uh, nope, that's coming back. I don't like that. Lantern. No, don't throw the lantern. Fuck. I can duke it out with the pipe. There you go. That's all it takes. <laughs> that, um, that worked somehow. I'm surprised I didn't die. so close to being less far away than we were before. Not necessarily close at all, just less far. It's back. The fucking lizard is back. Dude. There needs to be an agreement that you can't just camp in the doorway. You always do this. Are we getting to five pebbles this stream? With any luck. We are in five pebbles. This is five pebbles. It's me. Come, there we go. No, 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 no. Climb. Okay, there's gonna be 10 more up here like last time. Nope, apparently not. I want to be on top. The lizards are on top too this time. Okay. I want to be underneath. The lizards are also going to be underneath. Great. The 
culture is here. This fucking area sucks. Boing. Go. Okay, what killed me last time? Oh, the game froze. That was it. Okay, as long as that doesn't happen again. Uh, and the spider doesn't kill me, and the cyan lizard doesn't come up from below, and the, uh, something else doesn't come from a pipe and kill me also. I'll be fine. Oh yeah. Rain world numero uno. This reminds me of the Greek myth of Sisyphus. The whole game is the Sisyphus simulator. Sisysim. The real Sisyphus simulator was the Spearmaster uh, wall ascent while it was raining. That was lots of fun. Chaos but no control. Chaos free jazz! Alright, I still don't exactly know which direction Pebbles is, but I am probably closer than last time. There's a plant in here, by the way, that's flowy. We found him. Chaos Bebop! The husk. Uh, sounded like a binding of Isaac enemy there, Pebbles. That's, that's rough, buddy. Okay, that's not the way to go. Uh, what about down here? Is this the way? That's how I came in somehow. I can't tell if this is shaded architecture or pebbles architecture. I, I don't remember pebbles having chains like this. Uh, hi. Where is it going? It's gone? Okay. Pebbles is just wearing street wear. He's got the chains. Little creature, I am basically dead now anyway, so I decided to become edgy. I wonder what, how Five Pebbles is going to be when you get to him. That's what I'm curious about. What is his mindset right now? How is he doing? Like, not well, but like, in what way is he doing badly? <laughs> uh, wait, why am I back here? I'm, I'm, I'm strapped in a cycle, five pebbles, help! A repeating pattern. There was no reason to ever go up here. There's nothing up here. Where the fuck are you, five pebbles? God damn it. I'm gonna jump in void fluid after this. We're smoking on void fluid. Okay, everyone congregate underneath me. Actually, no, fuck that. I'll just do that. Hell yeah. I'm balling so hard they thought I was a fucking nutsack. What's up here? Jack shit. Okay. There's a secret pipe, but I went in there before and it didn't lead anywhere interesting or useful, so... I guess take the not secret pipe. That's the secret. This just leads me back here. So do I go down? I think down is the only way. Uh, how much of the Dracula flow do I have memorized? I don't know. I've never tried reciting much of it by memory. I just have a couple of quotes that revolve through my brain like a slow carousel at a, at a carnival. Playing spooky Dracula music. Where the fuck is this? Underwater adventure. Let's go. 
I love to drown in caves. Surface. Abort. Something went wrong. What? There's a spider on me the whole time? What the fuck? No. Not the scavenger's revenge. Why is this the scav zone? Why am I here? Fuck the scav zone. I don't want to be in there. Wait, is this the same place again? Am I back here? Why is every- if it's, it's all the same place! Where the fuck do you go? To the left. Okay, I have to go to the left. How did I get here in the first place? Like, there, there's no entrance left. Like, I have exhausted every pipe. No, wait, th this is how I got here. Do I have a rock? I don't have a rock. Damn it. Spider is here. Uh, hi. Try it. What you got? Try it. Nice try. This is doofy. <laughs> this is Alzheimer's simulator. He's just revolving. Da 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 Finally, holy shit. You have to wait for the loading circle to finish. Now the scabs have come to lynch me, it's over. Wait, nope, they all left. We're back. It's back. Uh, I have to go through the scavenger zone again to leave, apparently. Is this another case of I could have gone left moment? I think it was. Like, this was the entrance, but I could have just gone left. Not your water adventure! The effect of what is like listening to Nyan Cat for hours? Oh, okay, okay, I can still go this way. This is new, maybe? This is no longer trapped in a cycle, a repeating pattern. Okay, what's this? This is back up to the shelter, probably. I think. No, wait, this could be new somehow. The new path. This reminds me of how it would beat uh, Zelda dungeons back in the day, honestly. It just complete incomprehension of like what the puzzle is, just trying every fucking path six times until I figure it out. Um, this looks promising. This is new. If I go down there, do I die? I'm going to assume that I die for now. Okay, this is the wall, but I've already been to the room on top of the wall, and Five Pebbles was nowhere to be found. Yeah, I've already been in here. And, like, there's nothing much good. Wait, what's up there, though? Scavenger Kingdom. Okay, that's Five Pebbles is not over there. Um, and if I go in here, this just puts me back on top again, right? Going up is probably blocked. Yeah, this doesn't help at all. Uh, what is... This is blocked for sure. Yeah, it's blocked. Okay. So it's 
go down? Oh. That looks like a death pit for sure. Okay, so this is all useless. Uh, five pebbles is like... Where, let's triangulate where five pebbles is. Okay, you can see... There's the room, there's the wall. And then when you go in there, that's like the karma staircase down, right? So five pebbles should be like... There. Should he not? Pebbles might have fallen piece by piece. Okay. He's in a different area entirely? What, what do you mean? Where is he? How did, like, a chunk in there get somewhere else? He's on the right side? Wait, but this is the right side. Th there's like a big... Oh, God. Froze there for a sec. I'm freezing to death. I have to rest again. whole section is a red herring. It's a different wall. A red herring. They built part of the map as a red herring. Like, how did he get out? He's part of the wall. Like, you, you can see on the map where he should be. And it's just, like, changed to something else. I don't even know how far back it would have to go to get on a new path, though. The wall is a decoy made by five pebbles to keep slug cats out of his chamber. In a last ditch effort to stop having annoying cats come in, he built a perfect copy of himself, but slightly to the left. It makes sense to me. I just grappled that mouse for no reason. Uh, so how the fuck do I get back though? Long room with the birds. I forget where even that was now. It's been a hundred years. I think I have to go back down that outside bit, which means the underwater adventure again. The whole area has been exploring, uh, that's what's left of the wall. Okay, um, yeah, the scav tunnel. Wait, I want to be on the ceiling for this. Don't get caught on the floor of this room. Worst mistake of my life. What if I go down there? There's a spider, but I can bypass it. Is this progress? I don't know. This is the same room again. Maybe this is progress. All the way down? All the way down. How, how long till I hit a death pit is the question. Centipede. I'll go back for the lantern. No. The, the centipede has to come through first. It doesn't know how to move. That's bad. Where is the centipede? It disappeared! Yeah, best ending. What? Oh, I'm fine. Okay, I missed that grapple. <laughs> In spectacular fashion. I want those fruits. Uh, oh wait, I've seen this. I know this place. 
Yeah, I guess I've never tried going all the way down here because I thought that Pebbles was at the top like normal. Okay, that looks like a death pit to the right. Looks a lot like a death pit to me. Yes, okay. Boing, boing. This is like a new zone. There's a red centipede. Oh no. Run. Wait, I've been here before. Did I go the wrong way already? Take the pipe. Shit, I didn't take a pipe. I don't know what pipe that referred to though. Uh, there's another giant centipede. That's not the red one. The backflip saved it somehow? How am I not dead yet? Please. Please. Come on. Go back. Oh! Is this the right zone? Right. That's it. This must be the way. Okay, that was fucking clean. Now go up. Was there a way to go up? There wasn't yet. Wait, there's a shelter there on the map that I haven't been to yet. I don't have enough food though. <laughs> now I'm gated on food, for fuck's sake. Um, okay. What paths remain unexplored here? That's just moisture. Oh no, what the fuck? There's still rot? No fucking way there's still rot here. Just a cameo. Rot cameo. Okay, whatever. Another route, kind of. Uh, hi. Why are you here? I'm going. Underwater adventure. Let's go. Okay, the cyan lizard is probably not going to follow me down here. I have to assume. Oh, I might die here, though. I might super die here. No, I'm okay. No, I'm drowning still. There we go. Fine. Okay, scav zone. The floor doesn't exist there, it always gets me. Down here. And then we can fall for like three screens before anything else happens. Uh, even more. Keep falling. Into this pipe. Take the fruits before the centipede gets you. That is a red centipede. Uh-oh. Uh, what's it doing down there? Is it down there? Nope. That's probably waiting for me up ahead. Yes, there it is. I don't think this is the right way somehow. This doesn't feel right. <laughs> Maybe it is? What the fuck was that? Wait, no, go down. This was it. This was the same way. I think this was it? Yeah, it was. I made it somehow. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that's apparently very easy to do. Find that shelter and take the pipe above it for food. Yes, okay. Just don't go into the water. That's the key point. Oh, there was food right here. God damn it. Flip. Flop. Okay. How do I get in there? Come on. 
Finally, okay, progress. We're so close. Theoretically, the Pepsi. We're so close to him. I can feel it. Um, Love that positive karma gain. Why is it taking so long for me to get saint points when I'm playing as the saint? Seven hour stream? The rain world ones can go for pretty long. I'm not even feeling that decrepit right now compared to some of them. Uh. So do I want to go down though? That was the rot before, but maybe... Yeah, that upper pipe takes me to somewhere I've already been, so it has to be down ultimately through here. So the rot don't spawn here, they just happened to be in the way <laughs> that one time. Okay. Hi, scabs. Bye, scabs. Uh, where am I trying to go here? Down. Ooh, that was clean. All right. Um, one of these ways. Slurp. Up. Okay, this is newish terrain. Uh, is that food at least? It's not food. I don't know if this is new or not. I can't tell. Um, was there another path to go? Wait, where even am I? There. Yeah, that was the only way to go from here. Go up. Is this food? It's food, okay. go up I can swim under here and then go the other way around and then left someone said okay so left is where the spider went have I not been here What's up here? Is this fake? It's fake, okay. I think I've been this way before. There is a shelter, which I can't use. Why can't I go in? Huh. Okay, I'm being flanked by uh, spiders and monsters and stuff. Going up. Uh oh. Well, that ain't gonna work. I didn't register that centipede is there for uh, a good couple seconds. Um, it was down here. Yeah, I have no idea where those rock came from. I didn't see them anywhere else in that entire path. Okay, go up. 
throw it down. Uh, I do have to go up, though, actually. Um, past the angry scavenger monkeys. Oh, oh, okay. Please leave. If there's one more piece of food, I could rest. Um, oh, there is another one. I just missed it. Okay. Well, this should go better then, if I can rest at the shelter. Random lizard, the blue lizard, okay. No. Woo, -hoo -hoo. okay, that was fast as fuck. Got it. Uh, how do I get in there? All right, progress. I feel like I've already been down this path is the thing, but I I don't remember what the path exactly was. And when I get to five pebbles, there's going to be a, a nine karma gate in the way. <laughs> The next room should put you on your way. Uh, down here, I guess. There's only one real exit here. Up from the next room. Oh, wait. That was the shelter. Uh, could I have ridden that other pipe? Any move? This thing, maybe. Oh, I think this is new. I always got caught off guard by the ones that don't have the three lines. It, like... Because sometimes it effectively is a room transition, but it just doesn't count as one. And I tend to disregard those when I'm looking for uh, paths to take. Wait, is gravity lower? No, it's not. Okay, I thought it was for a second. This is it? Is this Pepsi? Oh, this might be the room. Yeah, the, the central systems bus. I think this is that or not. I'm not sure. Oh, wait. No, that's a zap coil. This must be the recursive transform array. Okay, new part of the wall unlocked. New wall, new wall. The real wall, though. Is any other slug cat capable of doing this, uh, like making it up here? Like even Artificer? Some of this tongue movement is pretty wacky. Another shelter, but there's no food. No kills the video quality. Okay, well, I'll get inside, I guess. This is cozy. What a nice vibe. And five pebbles pulverized, rotting husk. 
It's very cozy though with my lantern light and the snow outside. Very wintry. Is that a fake pipe? Okay. This keeps going. It looks kind of like he split in half, actually. That sort of be environmental storytelling at work here is that I was on the, the left side of this big crevice before, and now I'm on the right side. And so there's effectively two different walls, but neither of them are the true exterior of the structure. Get a hot chocolate after this. Delicious. I should bring five pebbles of hot chocolate. He'll appreciate it even though he can't drink because he doesn't have a mouth. I've definitely seen art of uh, the saint cuddling five pebbles <laughs> sitting on his lap or something. Not with hot chocolate though. Uh, which path? What's on this side? I thought that was a white lizard for a second, the way that window was flickering. <laughs> that just, that turned on my white lizard detector. Oh, okay. There was a auto scroll past several screens there. It feels like I'm back in the cycle again, like it's some sort of prank. It's the smiling friends gag where the, where the guy pulls out the gun and goes, Get out of my head, man! Get out of my head, man! It's, it's turned back into the thing that I was stuck in. Uh... Oh. I go this way. Oh, keep going up? Don't go in here. Up as in... On the outside? Up from the water room. Oh. Everyone's saying go back. This is the water room. Oh, you can go that way. Okay. Yoink, 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 yoink. I keep forgetting the trick. Uh, oh wait, this is like the real version of this room? Was, was I in... Why are there two versions of the same room and only one of them is real now? Why is it like that? That's odd. Somewhat confusing. Like, where did that second one come from? Because that connected to the wall in the usual spot. So this is the real wall, the real top of five pebbles. Where are there just, there's like two of these zones now. Unless that was the other side of five pebbles and he, he pivoted 180 degrees? I don't even, oh, it popped. Don't mind if I do. Am I going to freeze to death? Yep. Oh, I think I have time. The wind is actually blowing me in the right direction, I think. I can feel a push. This area is longer than I thought. Why is it so big? Is that a scavenger? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's just more popcorn. It's right there. Come on. You can make it. Come on. Oh, there was fruit here anyway. Oh, I'm back outside. Oh, fuck, I don't have any... Wait, where, where did the lantern go? I died. 
<laughs> I don't know where the lantern went. Well, I know where the shelter is. I don't know if I died. I don't think that was fall damage. I think I just froze to death at the exact moment when I hit the ground. Because <laughs> I don't think that would have killed me. They didn't seem nearly far enough. It was down here, right? It's still... It's up here. Yeah, it's quite a ways back, but I might remember. This fucking jump, by the way. Uh... Up there, maybe? The route is pretty easy, I just took too long, or dropped the lantern somehow. Wait, is that... There was just free food here. Huh. more of that stuff? It looks like there's more. Hmm. Okay, back up we go. Wait, when your heat reaches zero and you get stunned, you die. Reaching zero heat doesn't kill you. Wait, so you can just survive indefinitely if you don't get stunned? That's strange. Died from lack of hot chocolate. Uh, I still can't access the shelter. Oh, you, you automatically get sun stunned if you reach zero heat. Well, that'll do it. Got the tech. That is a fake pipe. Can't go in there. Wait a minute. <laughs> when it works, it works. Come on. There we go. Wait, that doesn't go anywhere either. It even works to get in pipes. Fascinating. Very generally applicable. Oh, you go up the big tube. I get it. Okay. Adventure. It's so much faster. Just mashing space. That's all I'm doing. I'm mashing the button. Yeah, now we're going a bit faster. Look how full my heat gauge is compared to the last time. It seems like the saint could actually walk on their tongue if they really wanted to, just shooting it downward at the ground. 
re repeatedly just bounce along on it. Okay, so this is the karma zone with the murals and stuff. Uh, it's interesting that more and more of the subregions get renamed to like uh, the rot, the husk, the silent structure, but there's still just a little bit of five pebbles on top. Like, okay, this is really him. He's here. Don't even need it. Okay, so don't... Well, I can fall probably without too much damage, but... Ow. Try to be a bit more careful. Okay, that's what was supposed to happen. Who wouldn't want to walk on their tongue? I've often had that thought, Pidge. I've often had that thought. Bounce along on it like a tigger. Sort of like a silent hill enemy upside down tigger. That's what I'm picturing. feels taller after falling. Yeah, it's because when you're going through um, the normal Five Pebbles interior, you don't really get a sense of the verticality because all you're doing is moving between rooms and pipes. Um, but here you can just see like huge vertical slices of them. Oh, that's, that's water. Okay. Come on. There we go. I forgot the lantern. Fuck. Shlorp. That looks promising. That's like the access shaft, maybe. Who knows where the murals are anymore? You can't slide down a hill. How disappointing. Okay, I'm now lost again. I no longer know where what part of Five Pebbles this is. Can I... Oh, I can go in here. Huh, I didn't think it would let me. Is that then an, an invisible wall? Or like over that side? No, it's not. Oh, there he is! Yo, shit! Pebbles! Good to see you, dude. How you doing? Little green thing. That's me. Hello. Nothing here. Nothing left. He's not doing well. He's still got the sad FM though. He's still got that pearl somehow. Oh, Pebbles. How you doing? What's up? Not really in a conversational mood. That pearl isn't doing so well. Yeah, Moon wasn't this bad. 
can even communicate much anymore. Hmm. I don't want to fuck with the pearl. That's the only way I can think of, like, interacting with him, but... He doesn't have any neurons. That's spooky. Uh... You, uh... sure what to do. It seems like he's beyond help at this point. What is that noise? The fuck is that? Is there a, a pearl around here somewhere? Uh, we found pebbles. I'm not sure to what end, though. I don't think there's anything I can do with him at the moment. He's just sort of... He's fucked. I can see what's over here, at least. Do I have to steal Moon's neurons? <laughs> That's so fucked. Uh, hmm. He doesn't respond to those even? Well, yeah, I wasn't really seriously going to try that, but... Go down for shortcut. That was the last chat message <laughs> I saw while I was falling. It says go down for shortcut. Oops. Shortcut to the uh, end of the game crashed. <laughs> Go down for a shortcut. Yeah, I'm not super. Uh... It's unclear what the goal is now. The goal was to find pebbles, and I was going until that I accomplished that. Uh. It seems like all there is to do now is like go back to see Moon or to find more echoes or or something. Go back to him. I mean, I'll see if he said says anything else. I'm going to respawn at the shelter anyway. Do Oh, I forgot the lantern again. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to keep going for much longer. I think I just... Someone said I can talk to Pebbles again and he might say something else, but... Um, yeah, I'm not sure. There doesn't seem to be much to immediately do regarding Pebbles. He says something if you die next to him. That sounds like a, a productive aspiration. Let's try it. Uh, I want to see if I can roll down the hill comically. Hang on. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Oh yeah, there's going to be a part two. There's going to be a part three, probably. Uh, I don't know how long this um, campaign takes, but I've heard it's kind of long.
He's back. Ayo. Want to hold this lantern? Green thing. There's nothing here. Huh. Freezing could take a little while, probably. Hug pebbles? Can I glomp him? Is he actually hugging me? <laughs> oh, that's cute. So this is where that art is from. I've seen this illustrated. He's absorbing the heat of the lunch. If I, I think being held uh, or uh, hugged by this like ice cold robot would uh, chill you out faster, if anything. Like his hands are probably really cold. What if I poke the pearl? I have to know what happens. Is it no? Stop it. Oh, okay, he's better now. Well, this is fun. I know what he says if he tries swallowing the pearl. I doubt it's going to be very entertaining. <laughs> Yay. Uh, what is making that noise? That's weird. Uh, wait, no, that, there's a thing here. There's a thingy. I sense it's of vital importance. He still has working memory pearls? Does he? I've... I tried to find those before, but I couldn't uh, pick any up. That's the lantern again. Oops, that, well, I know what that one is. Uh, you can have that back. There you go. Oh wait, that's one. No, that's the same one again. Sorry, sorry Pebbles. Sorry, um, I can't control what I grab here. It's a limitation of the game engine. I don't think there's any hidden pearls here. I can't find them. Oh, I say that. I'm literally holding one right now. Um, okay, apparently there was a pearl, but it's white, which probably means it's erased as well. Blizzard incoming. All right, this is what we're waiting for. We get to see the cool <laughs> the dialogue when you stand in front of five pebbles and fucking die. Isn't this cheery? Oh, yeah, I sure am freezing to death. But if you put the, the audio in a spectrogram, it makes a mandala? Cool. This is just like Christmas. I feel like drinking hot chocolate now. Doesn't this put you in the holiday spirit? I'm just gonna sit here and die. Okay. This is like the most depressing thing I've ever seen. Oh wait, there's the pearls. Look, there's like a trillion of them on one tile. They're all stuck together. That's weird. Why, why are they like that? Yeah, I know it's all the pearls that used to float around, but how did they get like, uh, like they, they were sucked into a singularity. They all occupy the same space. 
They're they're not hadrons anymore. It's the pearl inchworm. So this is what's been happening while you're doing your homework. Yeah, there's, there's not much productive to accomplish here. You just sort of like... Pebbles is uh, mostly brain dead at this point. Um, please find warmth. I probably should do that. Anyway, the stream is over after uh, I die here. <laughs> so, it's very morbid. But chat said there was dialogue. Breathing alone again. Yep. That's about as sad as you'd expect. Okay. Well, on that note, uh, it's time to look at fan art. <laughs> Jesus. Pebbles gets a cool frozen skug corpse to hang out with forever. Okay. Art time. Wait, now it keeps going? This game is always whenever you tab it out, like the music suddenly cuts off, but... At this rate, this is going to be the soundtrack for the art segment. I hope you like it. <laughs> Please, no! Uh, hang on, okay, I'll, I'll turn it off eventually. This is nauseating. <laughs> okay, fine. It, it's playing over the uh, the death screen. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. We're good. All right, we can go back now. Uh, okay, let me find the top of the pile here. There's probably a few today. Um, I don't think that is a rain world. That's, that's just someone's persona. That's different. Okay. Uh, the first one was, oh wait, there's a slug cat render by T Pierce 10 here. That's the first one. Um, I'll open that up. You want Firefox? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> That's the whole video. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Uh, I don't know why you made that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have to cut myself off. No more of that. No more. Uh, and, okay, this is one that Mel started before the stream even began. Which is, um... This was based on the discussion of the Undertale uh, Rain World crossover Nightmare AU with uh, five Keras and looks to the Asriel. They're very cute. Can't you see it? You put five pebbles in the green sweater and it, it's just the same person. He's just Kara. He's the same same guy. That one is by Mel. Excellent. I love that one. Oh, apparently that one's an out of context spoiler and I opened it so I can't look at it. Okay, I closed it again. I fixed it. Okay, I can't look at that one yet. 
Um, we have posting the Spear Saint art to promote my fic. Add Hero Han. Okay, this is promotional fan fiction art. <laughs> Of Spearmaster giving the saint a big kebab. Wonderful. That's by Lilac Weather. That's a funny name. Ad Hero Han. There's your fan fiction. You know what? Just because you drew that cool art, I'm going to link the fan fiction in the chat. Everyone go read this person's fan fiction. <laughs> it means ascension. There you go. Go read some slug cat ship fiction, everyone. That is a horse standing on a beach. Wait, apparently this is a saint spoiler, but it's like, it's incomprehensible. I know there's an area in Saint called Rubicon, by the way, if that's all the spoiler is. I, I know of an area called Rubicon. So I guess it's not that, that much of a spoiler. <clears throat> Okay, we got one by wait, that's Vindictive Toast made this uh this by the way. We have C made Saint turned into a pickle. Funniest shit I ever seen. I pickle Saint Yo it sense <laughs> That's kind of his sense. Holy shit. Uh this this is horrible. I hate it. Thank you. That's who the saint is, a reincarnation of Sans. Oh shit. Daniel did the Evangelion thing. End of Rain World. That's pretty cool actually. I wouldn't have thought of put it in putting it in that uh that framing. It's funny in this context because Five Pebbles isn't inexplicably giant. That's just what he looks like. That's cool, actually. Yeah, that's the... Uh, it's it's very hard to visualize what Pebbles looks like unless you see it zoomed out, I guess. But it, yeah, he seemed to be basically split in half. Ave Meditarsalia Enthusiast. Here's a marginally higher res saint from my shitpost. The very small saint. <laughs> Looking like a, an Egyptian cave painting. Beautiful. A very little guy. That... Is this Rain World? What the... I can't even... That looks kind of like a scavenger, but I... I don't think that's Rain World. It just has a dude that looks a little bit like a scavenger on it. Okay. Is this... I think this is just a bunch of Deltarune characters. Ah, a Skug. I found it. Naughty Riv gets put into Slug Tumbler. Oh wait, this happened last stream. Yeah, I got put in like the fucking... This lizard is beating the shit out of my head, just like hitting my head into a rock. Like I was in a sack and it was just like beating me into the ground. And then I was fine. No lasting damage at all. Too much cocaine for brain damage. That's the rivulet. And that one is by... Uh, by... Uh, by... That's one's by Vlad, who's been in chat the whole time. Nice one, Vlad. Another one by Vlad for the for this stream. We have the the Shih Tzu Saint. We have the Banana Saint. We have the Frog Saint. Many aspect of Saint. Um. Replaced but never forgotten. Oh yeah, that that fucking white pearl from the start of the stream that that I replaced seventeen times, and it turned out that none of them had anything any data. <laughs> oh well.
Oh, that's cute. This is a sleepy fox has drawn saint with their tongue frozen to a pole like I commented on. That's a really cute one. I like the saint illustrations where they're just like a, a decrepit looking blob, just like completely. Um, I had two options I considered for what to put, what saint to put in the thumbnail. Um, and there's this official illustration here, which is just like some sort of amorphous sphere with a tongue coming out, which I love. And then there's the um, the Bobo illustration, which is the ascetic 400-year-old monk, uh, which uh, the Discord server thought this one was better. I love it, though. That's not horrible. That's what Saint looks like. No arm muscles at all. Emaciated. No calorie intake. And just like a really big tongue. Okay, outs in art. We have, um... Jesus Christ. His ass has not conquered the sin of lust. Jesus Christ. I think Outsin's committing the sin of lust here. Jesus. Uh, well, I'm glad. I guess someone had to draw that. They didn't have to, but well, retroactively, someone had to draw it. Uh, okay, this is some deep. I have to like contextualize this. So this is a post from the the Yeek. Andrew Allenson repost thread, which Outsin has on the server, where he just reposts quotes from Andrew Allenson's Discord. He's the guy who made Yeek, by the way. Um, I don't know if this is him replying to someone asking whether he's a furry or when he became a furry. I don't know what the context of this quote is. But the point is that we have Night in the Woods Yeeks. So gee whiz for that. Just a quick throwback to the... This is extremely cursed, by the way, Outsin. Like, everything's been cursed as fuck so far. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Outsin. Okay, and down here. Will this be beautiful and wholesome? Hey, Moon, can you help me with something? Sure thing, big bro. <laughs> oh, it's the Undertale AU. I have a use for those flowers you have gathered. <laughs> You should let me eat them so I can die. Sliver of straw has surely followed this path before. <laughs> Kill myself? Uh, profit. Perfect. Oh, I just fucking realized this is the, the Twitter logo now. God damn it. Okay. Well, thanks for that, Outsin. That's some deeply upsetting and cursed art. Uh, speaking of upsetting and cursed... Lilac Weather drew this, which is the Shaded Citadel being crushed under Five Pebbles' behemoth titanic city-sized supercomputing, super-colliding ass cheeks, uh, just utterly decimated. The only surviving mice were were between the the cleft. Um, wow, that that's horrible. Additional context for the image. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's right. Uh, even more, Vindictive Toast has drawn this vignette. Gaster, always Gaster. The flower, smell me. Forty echoes in your your uh, DMs telling you to die. Enlightenment flavored Sprite. Did we talk about Sprite? I forget. Did Sprite come up? It's usually Pepsi. Yeah, the vindictive toast vignettes are always very good. The corn, it's back. Popcorn is back. Shizzer? That's like the name... When, when German played Wrestling Empire, his character was forcibly renamed to Glitter Scissor. That's what came to mind when I read that, for some reason. Um, Freddy Fazbear is here. 
I think that's because I randomly referred to the Echo as Freddy Fazbear as a reference to like 17 streams ago. Uh, the slime mold spawns from the funny jellyfish, I think. That's a reference to the saint fucking freezing to death in front of five pebbles for no reason. Doobie! And the, the orange lizards, their antennas are exclusively for downloading Selmer's slam poetry about blowing up Silicon Valley, as I'd expect. That's wonderful. Very wonderful. Very, very wonderful. Uh, vindictive Toast. Always bangers. Uh, that is Undertale AU fan art. Oh my god. Okay, the person, I think I've, I've known this person is Reverie, but now they have Parageist also in their name, has drawn uh, this. This person has been watching through all the VODs, I think, like just plowing through all the Rain World VODs, and this is the first one they caught live, I believe, so it's cool to have them on the art train now, drawing what looks like fucking Saint Chewbacca, <laughs> the complete first season, Saint and Mike. Oh, this is, I think chat was spitballing about like a, some sort of like buddy cop road trip movie about uh, Saint and the Jellyfish. <laughs> With the, this destroyed superstructure behind it. That, that's good. I like that. <laughs> How many ways will Saint eat Mike in hilarious circumstances then have to reset the timeline? Wacky hijinks ensue. Wait, I've been pinged twice in the lure pit? That's a bad sign. That, that's unrelated to the stream, but I've been pinged twice in the lure pit. That usually means that something's gone wrong. Andrew, don't look. Huge spoiler. Okay, I won't click on that one. That's the last one. Definitely not going to click on that one. Not going to click on it. Not clicking on it. I think that's it. That's all the art. But wait, no, it's not. Ha 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 ha. Azzy pants. There always must be Azzy pants art. Okay. Uh, where was the latest? There is the Pidge illustration with uh, the nipples. Don't worry, it doesn't actually have nipples. I wouldn't show nipples on stream. I'm not some sort of savage. I'm not an animal. Dude, okay, the Azzy Pants thread has gotten to the point where it's like there's so much discussion in it now that I can't find the art anymore. Oh wait, I found a sketch from Mel. First, first, uh, progress here. First blood is this very interesting looking as he from Mel. We got more, more Mel sketches. We got marketable plushies worth 10 million V bucks. We got just some as he pant, un unlabeled, unfiltered as he pant being drawn in 10 seconds on a phone screen. Wonderful. All by Mel. Uh, oh yeah, we have Mel's big uh illustration mel did a full as pants illustration bazinga check that out that took like several days to complete i think it's th they're enacting that one trope where you have to share your umbrella with your crush in japan it's kawaii it's sundere it's as pant it's a it's a beautiful piece Oh, you just didn't work on it for several days. Well, that still means it took several days to complete. Uh, I'm throwing you a bone. Okay, scrolling up. Scrolling up. Oh, wait. Another Mel. Mel's been... I forgot how much fucking Azzy Pants art Mel drew recently. There's a shit ton of it. Another sketch by Mel. Sleepy Burger Pant. Mel is the Azzy Pants hero. Uh, people have been talking... Okay, I found it. But yeah, people in the Azzy Pants sort of been talking about like, let's make a visual novel now. We have the skill set. We know we can do Ren Pie. <laughs> We're gonna make like... They just, they just keep going. 
and somehow it, it picks up steam like you'd think a thread like that would eventually just simmer down and stop being active but like more people keep joining it and they like make it more active people are like joining and inciting violence like we're gonna make an azzy pants visual novel now it's fucked up but here it is this is what i was thinking of the pidge nipples so this is maybe the hardest to explain yet this is as real and pizza pants cosplaying as the personifications of the fandoms of umris and as pants itself respectively uh that's what we get it's very cool umrissa and lizzie Oh, but wait, there's more. We're not done yet. No, 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 no. Homestuck Asriel. Did this one come from... I feel like I've I showed this one off before somehow. Or was this maybe on the watch party I remember showing this off? I don't remember. But Mel drew that. Mel keeps drawing shit. Uh, that's just like a Halloween costume, by the way. Yeah, that was on the watch party. So he's just dyed his fur gray and painted his horns. Easy troll cosplay. Uh, this one is not by Mel, shockingly. This is Lava Cake. I think this is a... It's an as... It, I think it's one of... It's like Lizzie the Azzy Pants Girl dressed as Azzy again. I think that's what's happening here. So we had... Wait, this is fucked up. We had... We had Asriel cosplaying as Lizzie the Azzy Pants Girl, and we have Lizzie the Azzy Pants Girl cosplaying as Asriel. <laughs> it's just a fucking loop. What is happening here? Look at this. <laughs> Jesus. Is there more? I don't even know how many more there are. Like, the, there's more Azzy Pants art than there's Rain World art at this point. I don't think I showed this one off. Or maybe this was old and then this is just a re-edit by uh, Blue NSL. Who made the original sketch? I forget. Um... You always catch this when they end. Yeah, there's nothing but Azzy Pants left. No nothing. Nothing is left. I should have left the fucking uh, Halcyon Memories Pearl running. It would have been great for this. Uh, okay. There might be more art above this, but like there's there's so much text. I'll be scrolling forever. I have to call it there. Oh yeah, Nikaizo maybe did that. I'm gonna say tentatively that uh, Nikaizo made that art. I think we're done. Finally. Okay. That was a long stream. <laughs> Yo, he did it healthy on memories while well, the dummy thick ass of five pebbles was here. <laughs> Where was that? <laughs> Jesus. Um, I'll leave you all to imagine what that would have sounded like. Eight hour stream. Uh, I'll be here again next week. We'll do more of this shit. Devlog sometime uh, this week coming out. Next few days. That's the plan. Um, yep. Yeah, I hope you all have a better night than five pebbles. Hey. All right. See ya. See ya, everyone.